<laughs> Hello, everybody. Say hi, Ellie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? Hello. I'm going to make sure our video is streaming. Yes, we are streaming. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It is, what day is it? Monday, May 8th, 2023. Yes. Um, my name is Jennifer Cotton, and this is Alejandra Gomez or Ali. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we are live um, on a on a new day, a different day, I should say. It's not like this is a, we're going to be every Monday. Um, anyway, let me just introduce myself, and she'll introduce herself, and we'll tell you about today. So, my name is Jennifer Cotton. I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator. Ali and I are teammates, and we. Uh, well, I have been a demonstrator for 21 years, and I love stamping. I live in Midlothian, Texas. Um, what else? Married, <laughs> two dogs and a cat. I'm like, what do I say about myself? I didn't plan an intro. Um, and, and one daughter, and she goes to school in Austin. So there. there That's you go. me. How about you? Um, so I am Alejandra, also a Stamping Up demonstrator since uh, 15 years now. <laughs> and um, I I love stamping a lot. I think it's my best therapy just to keep me sane. I have a full-time work. And so this is an outlet for me to help me just to distress. Um, and I am married. I have two little ones, Oliver and Addison. Oliver is six, Addison is four. So they keep me busy, busy all the time. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> okay, so we are glad you guys are here. Um, if you have the catalog, grab it. You're going to want to follow along with us. You might even want a notepad so you can take notes because we're going to show you some awesome stuff. Um, yeah. We'll be looking at the new catalog and basically we're going to go page by page with you. And we will talk about We'll talk about all the new products, but um, point out some of our favorites and show you the product we have here on hand. Um, we're both also going to do some stamping. Allie gets to go stamp first right at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> She's ready. Yeah. You're ready, right? I, I am. I'm just trying to look for a piece of paper for the stamping, but I'll use whatever, so don't mind. Me. <laughs> uh, Janet says she can hear us both perfectly tonight. And by the way, let me say hi to some people. Oh, yeah. Zana, 12.30 a.m. in the U.K. Um, Landa, hello. Janet in North Carolina. Rhonda, Linda, yeah. Linda, number two, Tracy, GN, Lori, and Carmen. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And Carmen is my mom, by the way. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, I have a customer, so a different Carmen, and I didn't even re register the last name is different. <laughs> you know, Ellie's mom. There you go. We have a supporter. Um, yes. <laughs> Carol and Evelyn, Stella. Yay. Okay. So um, what was I going to, I had a comment, but I lost it. Yeah. I'm not sure what I was going to say. I tell you, I did have my nice, although I'm a little bit, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit, my, the engineer side of me is kind of frustrated with the way they did it but I'm okay. I'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a little off center. Mm, very. Yeah. And the guy was ripping the pages and I'm like, oh. so it was very traumatic experience for me. Wow. Well, the good thing is catalogs aren't that expensive. So you can uh, do another one later when you have more time and be like, yeah. like Landa, she always makes sure the right employee is there <laughs> to do it. Yes. She's like, no, no, we don't want anybody who doesn't understand what I'm talking about. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that was me on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I was going to tell them about our special offer that's scrolling across the screen down here. Um, it's more like just a bonus for placing your orders with us this week. Of course, whoever's your demonstrator, they, um, uh, they, sorry, I got distracted. I was trying to read Rhonda's comment. I wouldn't like that either. <laughs> um when you place your order with us, with our with our current host code this week, May 8th through 15th, 8th through 12th, Monday through Friday, 
um, we're going to enter you into a drawing and we're going to give away a couple of bird's eye view stamp sets. This set uh -huh. here that Allie's showing. It's super here cute. Here is the one. Super cute. So cute. <laughs> and we'll point it out when we get to it in the book as well. Um, so that's it. It's just like a little extra perk or, you know, thank you sort of for watching the video and being our customers. Um, if you enjoy tonight with Allie and Jennifer, you should join us for our paper share and or paper share party and our color refresh party. Yes. These are two separate events. We're doing them on the same day in Facebook parties. So you can go back and forth between the two parties. If you do both, you'll make 22 cards altogether, 12 and 10. Uh, Allie's showing the shares. She's actually oh, got her up. Mine are sitting in a box, uh, ready to be sorted and cut. Oh, look at that. Look. Ooh. Yeah, smart putting that gold on the outside. I know. I was like, <laughs> that has to go in the front. <laughs> Did you have a third? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are the six For by the six. six by six. Yes. Yes. So, um, so, yeah, you should definitely join us. The deadline. May 15th. May 15th. Thank you. May 15th. Yes. Okay. May 15th for both. For both. Oh, and then, by the way, you, can we talk about the, the, the fact that instead of a quarter of a pack, they're getting a half of a pack for the color refresh. Yeah. <laughs> Just so <laughs> we, they know there's more paper. <laughs> more paper than we said. We did a little ma math mistake. I'm going to say we, even though it might've been only me. <laughs> and um, I'm going to speak up because my husband is mowing right up here um yeah so it's more paper than we told you so oh so color refresh includes projects paper party you can add on the party and get your 10 uh 12 projects with that one the party the door prize entries you know all this different stuff uh extra gift etc so we're going to show you sneak peeks now do you want to yeah. go first or me Yes, I can go first. We're going to be doing the paper share first and then the color refresh from my side, okay? And then we'll change. Okay. All right. So, paper share for Alice. So, here is one. Here is another one. There you go. They are all super cute. I'm very excited. I think I'm missing one, by the way, because they're supposed to be six and I'm only counting five. Yes, I'm missing one here. I'll look for it. And then from the color refresh, yeah, what did I do with it? Um, I have color refresh. Oh, here. Here. Oh, it, it <laughs> throws me off where to look in the camera. So those are those. And I'll look for the other one for the paper shirt because I don't know what I did with it. Awesome. And I will um, show mine as well. I think, by the way, what I was going to say earlier is please feel free to comment on our videos. Um, that helps us. Give us a thumbs up, a, a heart, whatever you like. Um, but that does help us. So wherever you're watching this, please feel Here's free. Here's the last one. Sorry. <laughs> that was party, right? That was the party. Yes, that's part the of the party. Uh, paper share party. But, yeah, paper share um, party. So in the paper share party, you make a one sample with least every designer paper the new paper not specialty but new paper okay so let me show you my paper share samples mm -hmm. one fold <laughs> i really like this one. Oh yes yeah another fun fold that's paper share and then color refresh i really like how these turned out as well i was nervous about planning designing these but then it turned out to be easy. I was overthinking it. Oh, yes. So there we go. So that's your sneak peek. We might sneak them again at the end. You never know. But yeah, so that is uh, an event we are doing together. So we. And by the way, both of those events, if you didn't catch that, we're using the same stamp sets. That way you can have both classes just with the same supplies in a way. Right. So definitely. Yes, same class. I mean, both classes on the same day, and we're using the same bundles and stamp sets for both classes. So you only need two stamp sets, one set of dies, and you might punch. want this punch, want punch. Yes, which is all an old quote, old punch. We still sell it, but it's been around. Okay, so we should get started because um, 
this is going to take a while. <laughs> so, uh, right, Ellie, anything else we need to say before yeah, we... Someone is asking for the STEM set, so if we can just show it real quick. I, so here um, it is. I have it here right okay. there. So here is the this one with I don't I don't know where the thing is, but here at least you can see the stamp sets. There is the die set with this. This is the one that matches the punch that Jennifer shared. This is the layering leaves, right? Oh, and there's I love that they have multiple leaves types. And then this is the stamp set. Oh, where am I here? And it has really nice dice as well, like frames. So definitely you're going to love them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking around because I just got a text that the live video ended. However, Ooh, I'm I don't still see on. It. Yeah, I don't see it ended on my iPad. Can someone tell me if we're still live? It says we're live on StreamYard too. So I think we're okay. But if there's a problem, somebody else text me or something. Yeah. And I'm still seeing, you know. I um, still see it on my page, passion. so I think we're still on. Hmm. Thank you, Teresa. Um, okay, and I was going to say also, when we get to those bundles and stamp sets in the catalog, we will be pointing out that these are part of our share also. So hopefully that makes sense. Thanks, Landa, Stella, Lori. You guys are awesome. She said, never mind, I see you now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to point my camera down. You probably will too, but I will. Um, yeah, you need to as well because you're going to stamp soon. But we have to do our old fashioned turn the cameras down and um, so give me conditioned. Yeah. Give me a second because I'm a little bit newer on this thing. <laughs> yeah, StreamYard is it's just different than going live normal. Like it's just the buttons are a little different. They're in different places, all that stuff. So um, and we are going to take off the split screen when we're focused on one person. So don't worry. And in fact, we're going to focus on me for a second at first. This is Jennifer. Alejandra. Uh oh, Allie went out. <laughs> it wasn't me. She should be back in a moment. Um, I'm sure she'll text me if not. Okay, so here is our beautiful new catalog. As you guys know, you can see I have tons of sticky notes in there. I'm trying to get these samples out of the way, but keep them where I can find them when I want to show them later. Okay, there she is. Let me let her in. Ooh, Woo. <laughs> okay, I'm going to um, enlarge my screen again, Allie. So you yeah. won't show right now, but I think we can still hear you. Can you test that out? Just say something. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, okay. so we'll okay. be able to talk to each other when the camera is on someone else. Okay, so I'm going to let her, you can get set up and we can't see you right now anyway, so that's good, Allie. Okay, um, perfect. So, so I'm going to skip the beginning part, but of course it's great information. Feel free to read, but we're going to start with, of course, the product. So on pages 14 and 15, we have the bright and beautiful suite our first suite of this catalog and um Allie's actually going to make a demonstration with this so I I was like why does it say that I am going to um, switch over to her camera and she'll do a stamping demonstration and then we'll come back to me um, we're each going to focus on one suite in our stamping demonstrations and she will probably show you some of this product and stuff as well so here we go with Allie here we go with and if me. you guys have questions as you go or you want to comment on your favorite go okay. for it because we can each monitor comments while the other one is talking okay yes just give me one second here <laughs> oh goodness so here is this one i can't find my paper so you might want to show the paper because with mean, everything yeah. that i move right now i don't know what i where i put it it's here but i don't know where okay so it's a six by six designer paper it's um my pack is well used already but it's super pretty and cute and all that bright colors lemon lime twist pretty peacock azure afternoon or azure afternoon blueberry bushel berry burst bubble bath and i'll just flip through it here i don't know that all the designs are here because i've used so much of it she's probably the same over there we've both been designing classes but you can see how 
pretty and fun. And what I love about it, Allie, is that it's not specifically balloons. Like it's not tied oh, yeah. so strongly to this. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. And there's a really nice set of the stars. So yes, definitely. The exactly. other thing is that it's Stars. not just for birthdays. I thought that was a great thing. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And then I have the gold also. Do you want me to show that or you have that? Yes, please. Okay, so yeah. in this suite is the gold celebrations 12 by 12. They call it specialty paper, but I don't know why. It's it's acetate sheets. It's thick, it's plastic, and it's see-through. <laughs> and, and gold foil. So we have like... Um, I don't know what you call the streamers, I guess. Stars falling from the top and bottom, and then polka dots. So for All a right. shaker, I think those will be amazing. Yes. Uh, oh, I hadn't even thought of that, honestly. Oh, my gosh, yes. I've been dying to do a shake. I haven't done it. It's not part of my presentation today, but I've been thinking about that since I saw that paper. I'm like, I need to do a shaker part. <laughs> anyway. Now we'll have to have race. To race to do that yeah. and those new shaker elements i'll show those later you're gonna love them or whatever they're called anyway you're gonna love it oh i was gonna say shaker elements like i've no they're called uh iridescent yeah shaker circles anyway what go on okay so i'll <laughs> make sure you talk about those because i don't think i've seen those <laughs> didn't pay I attention will. to that <laughs> That's at the end so everybody stay tuned <laughs> okay all right so can you all see me now Yes. Okay. Great. So I did a lot of the stamping already, mainly because we don't want to take forever on this video. So um, I die cut this. So you can see here, let me just show you the stamp set. So as we were talking, uh, the stamp set is amazing. It is a photopolymer. I've already pre um, assembled, not assembled, but put it already on my acrylic. Uh, for this image, because this is the one that I'm going to be using. This one also matches this beautiful, bigger balloon. And I'll show you some samples right after my presentation. And then here are the dies. Now, this one in a specific, just do the opening. So that you, this is the one that I think will be great for like a shaker part. Again, not done that yet, but I will at some point. And then this is the sentiment that I'm going to be using, which is the one that says, I think it's time for a celebration, which that opens the door to any sort of celebrations, right? Um, also, I think that for like graduation, those two will go really well, the you did it and JU, I think. So thrill for you could go really well for like retirement, I thought, or even for like a baby shower, you know? So anyway, same with this one, let's get our celebration on. So I think all of them were really good. So anyway, so my card base, it's uh, eight and a half by five and a half. I already pre-scored this one at four and one quarter. And we're going to be using our bone folder still just to make sure everything lines up. I do the scoring mainly for me to kind of figure out where things go as I am designing. Um, but I'm always still using my, my bone folder. Um, then I have a piece of bushel no blueberry bushel is that right i think so <laughs> and this one is what it is three and three quarters by five and um what am i doing this one and this one is three and a half by um four and seven eight so we're gonna go ahead well i'm gonna wait for a second then I have a piece of the designer series paper, and this one is like three quarters of an inch. Yes, by five and a quarter. It's a little bit longer. We're going to be trimming it, I think, or maybe not, depending. Yeah, we're probably going to be trimming it. Um, and then I cut out a piece of the lemon lolly, which is one inch by five and five eighths. Now, the length doesn't matter. I just wanted it to be longer than this. So it was just a scrap that I had. And I'm going to be gluing this one here. But before we do that, I wanted to cut this section. So I'm going to glue these. And then I'm going to cut that out so that I can have the fringe. Okay. Um, and then I've also die cut three balloons, as you can see. I have it in the lemon lime twist. The, um, what it is? Oh, my gosh. I'm losing the name. Hold on. What is the name of that one? The bird, what? 
very burst. And then this is the Azure Afternoon. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to do the stamping on this one before we continue. And I already, and here's the other thing. I have also a piece of basic white. And this one is um, three quarters of an inch for three and three and a half. And I've already stamped it just because I didn't know if we're going to have enough time. But pretty much this is just stamping on your piece of paper. And I've used the Azure Afternoon, which I really like this blue. You know, it's a really good bright blue, but it's not too bright. So I like it a lot. Um, and then for this one, we're going to go ahead and use the Lemon Lime Twist. And you're just going to go ahead and stamp over. And then you get the little confetti on your balloons. Now, I don't hear Jennifer anymore. Are you there, Jennifer? Did I lose you? Am I by myself here? I don't know. I muted myself oh, because good. of the lawnmower. I didn't know if y'all could hear that. Oh, okay. For a second, because I don't see you at all, I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to panic here by myself. <laughs> yeah, no, if I need to comment, I'll unmute, but he keeps coming okay. back over by my door. <laughs> okay, okay. No worries. I just want to make sure I was in <laughs> doing something Finish it by yourself now. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. You're gonna notice that there is when I cut my paper, I cut it as lightly as smaller as you can see, and that's okay because this is where I'm gonna be adding this section. So I'm okay with that. Now, if you want to do be all one eighth, you probably want to be cutting this to uh, three and five eighths. In all honesty, because I've been using a lot of this paper, this was my last scrap. So I just cut it to fit here. And I didn't want to cut that one because of proportions. That was the whole thing there. Um, but um, you can see I'm always making it work regardless. I'm, I'm, and I'm always using a scrap. So you should always uh, use what you have. Because like I said, it's um, we've been using this paper a lot. Or I've been using this paper a lot lately. And I'll show you some samples as well. Oh, see, I like this one. There you go. It looks more oh symmetric here. And I'm gonna be cutting this other section so that I can create the little fringe. There you go. And see now you have all these pieces. Now we can Okay, so now we can kind of have them so they look really like they're open. And I'm going to glue this section here. And there we go. This is how it's going to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive here. And I'm going to be cutting out the excess. Allie. Yes. Rhonda says you used the online dies for that. I think she's asking about that die for the fringe. Do you have it there? It's this one. So I use this. Oh this one so it doesn't cut any of the edges it only cuts this thing right and i show you here and so when you cut the edge then you have the fringe here okay thank you <clears throat> um so now for these ones i'm going to be adding i think the um this one and I'm just going to go ahead and do 
Let me glue this one first onto this. Yes, okay. So we're gonna go and put it here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. And then I was thinking of putting the balloons something like so. And then attach these things, right? And then have this one. Now you can use your scissors to cut the B, like Jennifer always shows. Or like in my case, I still have my retard punch here handy. Uh, so I'm sorry I'm still using it, but it's just easier for me. But I'll show you how, how you can do it with your scissors. There we go. And I might need to cut a little bit more here. There we go. Yes. So that's kind of what I want. So I'm going to be adding <clears throat> the... Oh. I'm just going to go ahead and add... So I don't want it... Well, it's better to be long and then cut it out just in case. Oh, let's just cut it out. All right. And then I need the dimensional. Let's give me a second here. I'm gonna put one right on that area so they don't get um, glue. Okay. And this is where I go crazy with the dimensionals. Because you know what? I feel like I'm still missing one here. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead. First, this one. Like I want one there. Then. Ooh, I think I'm, yes, I think I am ace on this one. I need to take this ones off. Because this ones are gonna go like right here. So I need to change this for this one. I need to make a skinny one. Oh. You know what? I'm going to use the big one here on this one. And then I'm going to be using... I can use either a glue dot. Because this one is going to go... Yes, right here. So I don't have that much of a space right there. See that? And then I can trim these areas. So they all fit. And then I can have this one come here. Now for this one, just so they're not moving later on, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like so. And then I'm going to have this one right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put dimensionals. Okay. So we can have it right here. And then we can use the um, 
What are these gems? Hold on, give me a second. I'm trying to find it. Here we go. These are the new Tinsel Gems 4-pack, which I think they go really well. I'm not, I don't remember if this goes with this suite on the page right now, because I'm not looking at my book right now. It's not. It's not. Okay, because I'm like, I don't know, but they do go really well. And then, of course, I have my, ooh, well, if, if Betsy's seeing this, she's going to get mad because I've already lost my thingy. It's not on the books. <laughs> so, okay. What did you lose? The take your pick. Tool. Oh. <laughs> It should be in the box, right? She's gonna be like, it should be in your box. Well, it should, but clearly it's not. <laughs> so, so don't tell oh. her. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. So Sarah says she didn't know we were crafting. Sarah, we're each gonna make one project tonight. Uh, mine will be a little bit later. And you're getting right. a lot of compliments, Allie. So cute. Good. Love it. Yeah. You know all that. Good. 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 Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put one more here, somewhere here. Oh, yes, yeah, here. There you go. And we're done. Aren't and those here the we gems go. we're giving with the paper? Party? Yes, these, these are the ones that we're doing with the in col with the color refresh party. These are oh, the yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. For the paper share, we're using the sequence. Um, sequence. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So here you have it. Here is the car. Hopefully it didn't take too much, but there we go. Awesome. Did you say you had other samples or no? Oh, yes, I do. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. I just remember you saying that. Yes, I do. I have five more samples. So here we go. So we have them all. Here's the big balloon that I was mentioning, right? Um, in another color. Here we go. You can see it better here, right? With the pink and the fresh freesia. You have here another one. And you can use the die cut... Um, pieces from this one right like i said you have this little section kind of like a little tinsel going and then the the stars as well which i didn't use this on the samples but there you have it awesome right. yeah i love it Thank okay you. i'm gonna go back to my camera yes and um i do have myself. a couple of samples here as well with the um beautiful balloons bundle that they're all from other people not me but i have this one that i got in a swap and i wanted to show like when Allie was talking about the shaker cards i was thinking ooh, she even could have just put some some uh, acetate behind that part right there so that's another way or turn it into a shaker anyway and then i have this one that used our returning in colors the ones that just stayed another year um, which i thought was super cute she just used all the in color twine there and then this one as well yep um that uses the new holographic paper so i had those and then i'm gonna keep now keep on with our catalog tour now so on page and we're just pointing out new stuff, of course. So 16 and 17 has new product. We have on page 16, the carousel horses. Amazing. Um, you can, uh, it appears to me, you can make a full carousel out of the dies uh, combined with the stamp set. You've got the, whatever this top of the carousel thing is called. You can probably use that for other stuff too, like circus tents and stuff like that. So really versatile, I think. And, you know, of course, if you're into carousels, it's great. That's on page 16. And then on page 17 is the circle sayings bundle. And my stamp set is actually somewhere else, but I know you guys can see the images right there. But I do have my punch. So this is a two and three eighths inch circle punch that you can bundle and save 10% if you purchase those two together. But also you can, uh, of course, the circle punch is sold separately and the set is sold separately. But this is a size Stampin' Up! has not carried before. I'm trying to show that measurement there, but it's not. The reflection is too much. Anyway, so that's a circle punch size that we have not sold before. 
And I have a couple of samples with this set that I've received in swaps as well. <laughs> uh, canopy, yes, Janet, Canopy. Um, so these are from swaps. Like I said, I did not make these, but super cute. All right. Let me figure out where, okay. Where am I putting my discarded samples so I find them when this is video finished? All right. Moving on, page 19 has a new bundle called Lazy Days. And this is one in my team, one of our our team zooms someone pointed out okay it looks blurry i apologize but right here if you have your book page 19 there is a die that's like this rug maybe this is not the one i'm thinking of actually this is a different one but there's another rug die here so that's just really useful to me for all kinds of projects you might want to do but um of course dies to cut out all the stamped images it's like a rocking chair a little table with like lemonade or whatever drinks on it, some clouds, a rug stamp, birdhouse, plant, and then lots of greetings in that one as well. So that's a great bundle to check out, Lazy Days Bundle. Uh, then on page 21, the Seasonal Branches Bundle. This is, obviously it has branches in it. It has images you can put on the branches, berries, flowers, leaves, a bird, an apple, <laughs> of course, can be hanging from your tree or just use the apple separately. Dies to cut out all those images plus additional branches and stuff. Um, you get, get well in this one. Thanks. May you feel sheltered in the love that surrounds you. Happy birthday wishes. You're in my thoughts. Page 22, we have a new, it says hope to know you stamp set. So it's new words, but I'm like wishing you comfort. May you find peace in the days to come and in the loving thoughts that surround you now, thinking of you today and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that and so on. Um, so really great set. It has missed you. Hello, friend, and some other greetings as well. It's just all greetings. Truly, deeply grateful. Um, different fonts. There's three or four different fonts in this one, from fancy to almost like computer printout, old-fashioned computer typewriter. <laughs> Um, and then on page 23, the Handmade Hugs bundle. So we have this punch whose name I forget, but um, we have sold this punch previously and it coordinates with the image in this stamp set, Handmade Hugs. Oh, it's called Handmade Tag Punch. It says it right there. <laughs> it's on page 148. Um, and of course, there's a decorative image you can put inside that outline border. And then just some other decorative images and words. You're the best. Today we celebrate you. Hugs, sending hugs and stuff for you and with love. And then some little images that you can put as decorative elements inside the tag or just use them alone. Okay. We're just looking for new stuff. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to say these two and then I'm going to stop here and Allie's going to take over for a few pages. Um, but there's two new sets here on pages 28 and 29. Well, a set and a bundle. Super cool <laughs> is on page 28 and it is pretty cool, I think. It's very sort of retro style. Um, we have big, thick, bold words. The word super. You can totally use that for superheroes. Um, sweet. You are so cool. Hey there and love. Nice big thick words, like I said. And then to me, it makes me think of like an old fashioned um, diner or ice cream soda shop, whatever. Anyway, there's a pretzel, a the top of a pie with the with the lattice, you know, crust on top. A I forget what these are called. It's like a roll up cake with a strawberry on top, a, a sweet, what does that say? Sweet cola, a drink in a bottle. It looks like a Coke bottle with a straw coming out and then an ice cream cone. Very deep, very, um, I don't know, detailed when you stamp it. What I love about this, you don't have to color it in, <laughs> just stamp them. And then on page 29, this is the one I got mixed up. This has literally this like picnic 
I don't know why my camera's blurry tonight, y'all. Um, but like a picnic blanket slash rug type thing with tassels when you die cut it out. I don't have these dies yet, but I'm going to wipe my camera real quick just in case it helps. Um, I don't have it yet, but you can tell from looking how awesome they are. So, but let me, yeah, I think maybe, oh no, it didn't really help. I don't know why it's blurry. Okay, so this is called the So Refreshing Bundle. On page 29, um, there is a picture and then two images you can stamp to fill in the picture. A glass with two images to fill. Some ice cubes. Uh, basically three or four stamp, a uh, four step floral image with the stems and flowers and more flowers to add multiple colors. And then I see these leaves. Oh no, these leaves go here. So it's three steps for the flowers, which of course can go in your, your jar, your um, jug, whatever I called it, pitcher, <laughs> lemons, lemon slices, leaves. And then these greetings are just a really pretty font. Time spent together is the sweetest, happiest birthday, and thank you kindly. All right, Allie is going to take over. Yes, Zana. Um, Allie's going to take over from page, starting on page 30. 30. Now, I don't have this sweet. I don't know if you have the paper. I don't have I have the paper the... here ready to show. So if you can show that one, because I didn't get this one this time. I know we had to, I mean, like everybody, we have to budget. Okay, I'll show the paper real quick. Yes. Um, super cute. Uh, I don't know, since we don't have it. Mm, yeah, I don't know what, if you can die cut any of this out, but. Okay, let me show both sides. I did notice, because I used this one for the share, that it's like one side is super whatever the style is called with pictures of the sort of lace shop type images. And then the backside is more just nice. Oh, what do you call that? Like, it's just like a, a pattern. pattern. It's like a Patterns. pattern. Thank you. Yes. Like a background. Yes. So, um, Oh, but that one, Ooh, that's nice. Okay. So that one's different. The back is, you know, more. Yeah. This one and that pattern. This one and the stripes, these are like distressed. It's really nice. So this paper is very versatile. Um, books, if you like books. And then the back of that one. So that's oh, that wow. one, Allie. So we'll go back to Allie now. Yes. Okay. Really nice. Okay, so I'm back now? I think yes. So. All right, so we have that one, and um, she, uh, Jennifer shared the paper. Really cool. I hadn't realized how it looks. <laughs> um, there's <laughs> also some nice sequins. Um, I be, I don't have these sequins, um, but I've been seeing on some other videos that they look more white than silver. So really nice for, like, shaker cards. You want um, me to show those? Do you have those? Yes. Yeah, I, didn't I, didn't, have... I just didn't realize they were with the suite. So let me... I have them. They do look more white, like you said, and then there's a little silver popping through. Mm -hmm. They're, I know you probably can't even see my screen, but they're really beautiful. Yeah, and it's one of these. I'll close it so y'all can see how much you get. Ooh, I'm scared. I didn't close it all the way. <laughs> one of those kind. Okay. okay, cool. So I don't have to show that later. Okay, good deal. All right, then. And I'm going. Then I'm going to go all the way to the... Do I go page by page? Sorry, I didn't pay attention. Because all page. of this is not... Or do this, I go all the way to the new one? You will go now to page 41. Okay, so... for the red in. Okay, so that's what I was, like, uh, thinking. Like, do I go one... Okay, so the next one is <laughs> this one. And um, this was one that kind of... It's kind of like the same that we had before. Um, the million dollar. I don't think I have that stamp set. But it cuts out also the sentiments, which I think is really good. I love I love that, you know, because otherwise you're cutting, 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 fussy cutting. Now, this one in particular also has some flowers. So um, you can decorate your cards that way as well. So I think it was a, a really good one as well. I might be ordering I, this one. Mm -hmm. I just noticed in the dies there's a heart and some, it looks like big, long, you know, just 
rectangles to put your images on. Can you scoot your catalog up like half an inch, like toward your, yes, per, yeah, a little right lower. Here. Tiny bit lower. lower. Right there. Like this? Perfect. Okay. I'm like, ah. And then <laughs> we can see 160 for a second, you know, just so that we can see. Oh, I yeah. Smart. That way we can kind of see how big, well, <laughs> I don't know. It has like a frame, you know, like a little border, mm. corner border mm. on those for sentiments. I think that's really cute. I don't know if there's anything else on that other than the long line. Now, if it is a long line or a smaller line, you can cut that with your, you know, trimmer. Unless there's some sort of a stitching or something, which I cannot see here. So, yeah, I, I don't, don't know either. Don't it doesn't it. show. <laughs> yeah, I have to. Yeah, exactly. We have to get it. And I don't <laughs> think I got it this time. You know, we are on a budget. <laughs> exactly. All right. The next one is uh, here. My favorite. I love this one. That's and cool. this one is the Sunny Sue, the Sue Crew. And I do have the paper on that one, of course. I mean, I couldn't go without. <laughs> <laughs> and um, all the paper on this one, and I've already been playing with this a little bit, but all the paper. Now, I'll be very honest. I am a little bit, I don't know how to say that. Like, I don't want to use the, like, I love the back side, but I don't want to cut it because I love the little critters. And I think that those will make great uh, embellishments for your cards. And so I'm very, like, there's no one that I don't like so that I can say, okay, I'll use the back on that one. I love all of them. Now, these are different uh, things. Like this one, it's all like about party. So I love those. Uh, one thing that I've been doing is I am also coloring the the little critters. And I'll show you uh, two samples there so you can see them. Um, but one side has the critter and the other side has a black and white, which is great. Now, if you go, I think it's still on the clearance rack. We still have that the one that we have for, with the hands that is black and white. I'm thinking about maybe we can use that one with that paper because I I just can't use this side just because of all the critters. I love them all. <laughs> but like this one, yes. you just have to buy two packs. No, because I still want the whole thing. <laughs> it was like I can't go with that. But yeah, you're right. I could buy two packs and use that one. But I'm sure I'll be like, I want more of these little guys. So anyway, so um, I prefer I buy another black and white and then use this entirely to just cut it out. Now, a lot of the dies, though, that we have now, this one is like crafts, you know. So this one is coloring and kneading and reading and baking so and meditating. So I thought this is like hobbies. But some of these, like the, like the llama has a die. See? So you can cut it out. Oh. And of course, I put it wrong. See, so you can cut it out. Um, from this one, the little raccoon had a die. So this one had a coordinating die. Um, so you don't have to be fussy cutting everything. Now, some others do not have. I'll try to remember, show you which ones do. Now, this one, I love the fox. Uh, but you have a bunny, an ostrich. And these ones are like on, like on the go, you know, like bikes, scooters, and um, motorcycles. Um, and this one, the alligator has the die. So this is that one. So you have that. On the next one, you have uh, all the ones that are in the music. So you have the little turtle who has also a coordinating die, and then you have other instruments on each of them. So I, I think they all look really cute. And then I have, there's two more pages. Yes, two more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or three more, maybe. There's this one, the dancing. They look really nice. And the, is that a cheetah? The cheetah has um, the die. So there is a die for that one. The other ones you'll probably have to be cutting yourself with your scissors. And then this one is like camping. So really, really cute. On this one, I believe the skunk, is that right? Yeah, the skunk is the one. And you can see it here because it, co it coordinates with us. So the skunk has the die. Everything else you have to be cutting out um, yourselves. And so there should be six. Did I have six? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. So that's the paper. And like I said, you have the back. You have the black and white. 
really good. I, like I said, it is a gray paper. Um, I think that you're going to be able to make lots of cards with these, but I am like, I can do it. I love all the critters. I think this is a good one that, because it makes, um, it is really easy to make cards with this just because of that. Like to me, when I have those, it's so much easier to cut because everything is done. You just have to color if it's not color and you want to color, or you can use the ones that have already color and not even have to go through that. Um, so anyway, the stamp set is here. It is a red rubber um, stamp. You have sentiments um, that are more for like celebration. I thought, well, not so much, but see like something great to celebrate you. Happy birthday to you. And then this one, you are too wonderful. Um, and then you can see like the samples here. You can see how you can use them, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. Like you can see you can use those for embellishment. So definitely love it. The ribbon, there is a two ribbon pack, which I should have here. I don't know what I did with it. Somewhere here. Anyway, there's a two ribbon here. So it's five yeah. split part yards for each. Do you have it with you? Yeah, I'll show it real quick. Yes. Um, yeah, because it's super pretty. Yes. Puddle pink and lemon lime twist. Yes. Okay, so there you go. Thank, Thank you. you. And then the dice. Now, one cool thing about the dice is that you also have other things. So these are, so you have like a curtains so that you can make like a little stage. There's like a little thing so you can, they can be seated. Flowers, trees, uh, clouds, balloons, a flower with a pot tree, a flower set. There's lots of different things that you can do to decorate these little guys. So definitely this is by far one of my favorites. Um, and I have two samples. So one of them is this one where you can see I've used one of our ink colors, the Boho Blue. I've used the confetti from, I think it's from here. Yes, it is this one. So you can do your own like paper pattern, right? Like pattern paper and then you can see how I punch out and then I color everything see that so there's not an an image for that one but there is the little hedgehog to, uh, painting and so I went with that so um, that's that and then you have another one here where you can see I've used a little raccoon and the raccoon for this one on this one, I actually use this one rather than paper, but you can easily do the paper and you just color the raccoon as well. So really, really nice uh, designer series paper on that one. Okay, let me move to the next one. I thought I have them. Okay, the next one is the monkey. I do have a monkey. Get me a second. I do have a monkey. This one is one that coordinates with the punch. Uh, hold on for a second. Let me get the punch. Uh, hey, Ellie. Go. Yes. Oh, I actually, um, you missed page 48. Sorry. Oh, sorry. My mistake. <laughs> oh, yeah, the important one. What am I doing here? <laughs> I didn't put the sticky. Okay, so this one is the one that we mentioned that anyone who's placing an order this week with any of us, using our host code, uh, it's going to be entering to a drawing. Uh, so we're, we each are going to be doing a drawing uh, for one stamp set out of this, um, the bird's eye view. Let me show it again. If I can find it. Oh, here it is. It's like, I know I had it here. And this is a photopolymer one. And I thought it was really cute. I love this car in particular is the one that sold me this, um, this set. And I love that you can do the glasses on the bird. So I thought they looked really cute. So anyway, so this is that. I those don't are, have... Those mm -hmm. are the Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> yes, right? They look really... And there's like a balloon. Oh, or another... I thought it was a balloon. No, it's actually another of those, right? That you can use on one eye. That's pretty cute. Okay, so really, really cute. Like I said, this car, I think I'm going to be recreating that car because I just love everything about that. Now, for this one is the Hey Shock, which we had had similar chicken sets, I guess. <laughs> and um, so if you're into the chicks, definitely this is another one to go with. The dice looks really nice. I think it likes the dice. They have other things that you can embellish your car, so it looks really cool. So, okay. Hey, if you can just push your catalog up a little again. 
Oh, it gets going like go. so. Okay. All right. So now, where were we? Here. So the monkeys, the little monkeys. So here is the stamp set. This is not part of a suite, but it's just a bundle, and it has the um, coordinating punch. And I love that you have different monkeys to to color. Now, and what is really cool about the punch is that you can you don't have to be coloring you can do like a paper piercing because there's eyes on this one let me open this one so you can see so there's eyes the face the monkey and the banana so you can be doing uh you can be stamping um this one on two different colors of brown and then cut it out to create your monkey okay um so it's really nice i really like that one a lot and i love this one so it's just swinging to say hi i thought it was really good I do have one sample with that one. That's my only sample so far. And but um, mm -hmm. go ahead. When you're done talking, I have some monkey samples. And I oh, okay. You can go ahead. Them. Yeah, but you can see here oh, how uh, the samples here also they. Oh, this is what I was trying to say. See how you have those? Oh, I was thinking those are eyes, and they're using like for the ears. So you can do either or, as you can see. See that? Really nice. Okay, you can take over. For the samples okay and i forgot like i just got distracted that i had some zoo crew samples too so for, okay. for the monkeys because we're on that one um this little sampling has monkeys on each one but they um represent also our five new in colors so you can kind of see what ali was saying about um you can stamp you can do the face separate or not you can just punch so lots of different options there on how to make the monkeys and then there's that other monkey you can just hand cut out but you know this one <laughs> um, and then i have these also that's just all colored in super cute but oh look at this one. <laughs> oh, i like that one that's cute this is a swap i got i haven't looked at it close enough i guess super cute you can punch out the banana too and this one very elaborate um and then back to zoo crew just real quick these are some swaps i've received Ooh. that um i don't think i've shown anywhere yet so you know just really nice those yeah oh i like that yeah bubble bath we can do it in fresh freesia it's okay <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness oh very nice yeah and then is this, this petal one, pink it is yep okay okay and then check out this card ready whoa robin <laughs> made this one yeah, yeah my goodness y'all know i didn't make that oh yep robin. <laughs> okay so cool beautiful so too unless we're done i don't know but back to out no i think i have um this one too the phrases for all so that's oh the kiwis the hello kiwi which look at those samples they look really really nice and then um but i don't have that one so but probably is going to be on the next order <laughs> <laughs> and then we have also the phrases for all now interestingly i did go and have that one um mainly because it was um it's a big sentiments and sometimes I want for like my cars for the inside or something, something big. So I thought it was really good. And I love all the sentiments. You are all kinds of amazing confetti and cake for your happy day. Let's pop some bub bubbly. Thank you. Congrats. Happy birthday with all my heart. Sending hugs and love when uh, words aren't enough. And dear friend. And then there's two hearts as well. So you can do... Um, the outline or just the bold image of the heart so i went with this one and um i just love the sentiments and it was like big so i thought it was good and then the last one on my sections are these two this one is called the friendship royalty this is one of those uh one one million dollar um achievers that they design and this is from kelly atkinson um i don't have this one and then we have the little dreamers now i am in love with that one but i made a mistake and i only got the dice so make sure you are um 
putting the bundle number so that you don't have an incident like this. Because I went through my box looking for the stamp set and then realized there's no that I sent. As I was about to call stamping up as to where is my stamp set, I find out I never ordered the stamp set. I only ordered the dice. Now, that happens when you order directly from like 158. Like if you go, I want to show you because it really is a mistake that I've done more times that I want to recognize. You have those two numbers. I'm pretty sure I use this one rather than that one. So if you're looking your samples from these, make sure you're using the one that says 10% and not just that one, because otherwise we're going to end up with just the dice. Now, Stampin' Up! being an amazing company that they, that they are, I call them and they say they're going to give me a coupon for the discount so I can order and apply the, bun the bundle pricing. So I'm still going to have the bundle pricing, but now I'm waiting for a coupon or something so that I can do it. So they're amazing for that because I was like, um, I'm going to be returning this because I want the bundle so I can say it's like, don't worry, we'll give you a coupon. So you can do that. Just call them. They are really good to work with and just explain what what you did, like in my case. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's it. Awesome. I liked, um, I'm going to, I think it's my turn, right? Yes, it's your turn. I'm going to switch it over, but I'm going to comment on her pointing out all the greetings in this phrases for all. Like, I think I got to put that on my list now. now yeah. I just, I just like big words, but I got to add that to my list. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm starting next, however, we're going to skip, you, oh wait, I forgot about this one. Um, so the next new one I have here is on page 60, Everyday Thanks stamp set. So this is going to be great because and I have that one. you do or do not? I do. Okay, you want to show it because I don't have that. I one. can show it so you can see it. Look at these. The Everyday Thanks, it's a rubber red rubber one look at the size of the images i really like this one because i thought it was a really great for like thank you for like uh teachers appreciation i thought it was really good and you know i have some friends that are nurses and doctors so i thought that would be really nice as well so yes it's uh, definitely like something we've kind of needed for a while like with for a lot of service people um yeah. So yeah, that will fill a great need there. Everyday thanks. And they're, so there's like a, basically like a police light. They're drawn almost cartoony and they're outlined so you can color them in, but they're big images. Um, so like a police light, a band-aid with a heart on it, a whistle with a, with a string forms a heart. Yeah. Uh, what is, is that a stethoscope? Yes stethoscope and then the pencil and then thank you for everything you do and thanks so yeah. you know if you have like a coach for like the school i thought that um mm -hmm. thank you go really well too so true i was thinking police officer but yeah the true. coach like, i don't know why i'm thinking police like that's kind of old-fashioned but <laughs> <laughs> okay um Okay, next up on pages 62 and 63 is the Countryside Corners Bundle and Countryside in Suite. I do have these products here. So um, in the suite is the designer paper and embossing folder and the bundle. So let me show you the bundle first. First of all, of course, I had to have these dies immediately. I already own two of them. Because I started using them before they even went live in classes, and I needed to give some to my helper to cut while I had my own at home. So I have two sets, uh, Countryside Corners dies. And you can purchase these alone because I don't know, like some people may or may not want this stamp. Because what it is, is a stamp. <laughs> this, you, if you're like me, you thought I thought that was multiple images, but it's one single red rubber stamp that has nesting uh, shapes in different patterns of these dies, which are like big giant rectangles with the corners cut off basically. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those plus a little banner die in the die set. The largest die here is almost five and a fourth. And that's the same size as the largest image on the stamp. So that's the bundle. You can buy the dies alone also. 
Uh, then there is the Countryside Blossoms embossing folder, which is really gorgeous. This pattern is in one of the sheets of designer paper. But of course, you can do it in any color and use it, you know, with obviously other stuff besides this suite. It's a regular size embossing folder, like four, four and whatever by whatever. And it's um, thin. And then we have the designer paper, the country side in 12 by 12 designer paper. It's all blues, balmy blue, misty moonlight, boho blue, night of navy, floral patterns, as well as just decorative patterns on the back. But have you seen this, Allie? There's critters. Oh, wow. No, I didn't pay. I mean, I have that one, but I haven't paid attention to it. <laughs> yes, I didn't see it until I opened it up and looked at it. So this sheet has little rabbits on it. They're kind of like Peter Rabbit type of rabbits. And then we have, again, a pattern on the back, lines with flowers and little um, hash marks on there. Then this one has birds. Like it's a pattern. It's like almost like a China pattern or something, but there's little birds and flowers and stuff, blue and white, blues and whites. And then the back of that one is blue, dark blue with lighter blue stripes. Then here's that pattern that matches the embossing folder. It's really pretty. Again, it makes, I don't know if that's like a China pattern, but that's what it makes me think of in the back, white and light blue stripes and some dots in there. We have these, is that this one, yes, these two. So this one has foxes on it. You got to check out these foxes, Allie. Um, mm. so it's like that the florals mixed in, but then there's just like little foxes throughout and they're super cute and they're blue. They match the paper. And then the oh, back of that is just little dots and flowers and blue on blue on blue. And then this one has little trees. Again, though, a little pattern. Oh. Yeah, it's really pretty. So you can make like a little forest scene, I guess, out of the paper. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's so pretty. Rhonda says, I like the fox one. The foxes are so cute, Stella. It looked like vintage wallpaper, says Martha. Yeah, that's a good description as well. And then the back of this one has little, almost like tulips, tiny ones in a row, row after row, touching each other, just like a, a pattern of tiny little tulips. So that's the countryside in 12 by 12. It's 12 by 12, by the way, designer paper. And I have a couple of samples here that use the designer paper, but um, I'm not sure just because I didn't look it up, which sets these words come from because there's no words in here, obviously. But you can see how beautiful this, just all these blues is. And then on this one, she did use the stamp as one single stamp, no die cutting as sort of a background to this, you know, scene mm. she built up there basically. Yeah. So let's see. And, and did that. All right. So there is that one. Let me oh, leave my pen on the ground. Let me move, uh, put my stuff away so I can turn the page. Goodness. Okay. Next up page 64 and 65. On page 64 is Lasting Joy. It is a stamp set, not a bundle. Um, so one thing, let me show you the sample I received. Look how gorgeous that greeting is. May the years ahead be filled oh, with lasting wow, yeah. joy. Yeah, it looks so much prettier than in the book to me. Even though it looks the same, it looks uh -huh. different when you have this card in your hand. <laughs> um, so that's gorgeous. And then this Do you one, have the stamp set? I don't. I, just I do. I can oh, show. Okay. Give me just one second. Hold on. Okay. So while she's looking for it, um, really pretty fonts, cursive mixed with straight, and then you can build little. Oh, she's got it pulled up. Okay. I had it now. Here it is. There you go. And it is a. Oh, I already have this. You can see I've been using it. <laughs> but yeah, really, really nice photopolymer. And I love the fonts as well, the sentiments. And the change of fonts. Anytime they have like a script and cursive, I'm all for it, you know? And this one looks more elegant, to be honest. So I thought really, they were really nice. Yes, I agree. And it just has little floral images in it where you can build little 
you know, floral scenes, basically. You can put together the flowers by her left thumb mm -hmm. with those leaves next to it. You can see that in one of the samples in the book and make one image, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yes. Um, do you have the one on the next page, 65? Because I know you talked about that. 65. What is that? It's called on. textured floral bundle. Textured floral. Right, oh, okay. I, I do. I do. I do. I thought you did. Okay. So I don't have this one either. So we'll let her show textured floral. Here it um, is. Page this 65. one looks like the one that we had um, last year. So I don't remember the name, but it's kind of like um, a, like a watercolor, you know, like, yeah, Washington Beauty, I think it was, right? And so you can see it here. This one is also a photopolymer. I haven't mounted yet. Um, but you can see large flowers. The sentiment, same thing, the script, and a little bit of cursive or, you know, like, I don't know. It's not cursive, but this is more like handwritten. Mm -hmm. And then the dyes. What I love about these that I think is I'm very sad that the Forever Fern is gone, but these will help as well because those help any flower you have. You add a little bit of the foliage and voila, you have a new card. So I love that we have those leaves because I, I was really sad to see the Forever Fern. So anyway and they yeah. look really nice too so <laughs> yeah honestly looking at your set makes me want it more because the flowers look which i know they're the actual size in the catalog but when you mm -hmm. held up that photopolymer they look really big yes and the dyes look even more versatile than the dyes that came with the old one. right because these are 80 percent, but look how big it is right oh exactly. I don't know that you can very see. big oh i don't know that you can see it maybe here <laughs> Oh, Put your God. hand there behind you it. There you behind go. Oh, yeah. That's oh, how I saw it before. Yeah. There you go. Looks so, awesome. really nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay. So, that was on page 65 for textured floral bundle. Then, on page 67, this is one I've got to get. Um, and again, she'll, Allie will tell me if she owns it, but I do have that one too. <laughs> You have way more than me. Yesterday, well, I went for, you can tell it's all the flowers. <laughs> when we were talking, you were like, I don't have, you know, this, this, this. It was certain things I was mentioning, though. Oh, yeah, because I know you you were crazy with all the embossing folders. I'm like, I don't have that one. I don't have that one. <laughs> I went for the flowers. <laughs> all right, so it's, here we have this one is photopolymer as well. Lots of sentiments on this one. Same thing. You have uh, two different type of funds. Your kindness means everything to me. You're everything. You make me smile. You are so kind for always being there. I really appreciate you. Thank you. You're the best for being my friend to you. Love you. Love Anne from the bottom of my heart for always be believing in me very much. Enough. Just can't. Thanks. A very big and hope your day is filled with everything good. So I thought this one was great because you can mix and match several of them. Then you have those little flowers. You have this one for like background. So I thought it was really good. And what really caught my eye again with the foliage is that you, I don't know if you've seen some of this, the um, samples, right? You can get, you have these things where you have the, like the two foliage and then these things. So you can kind of build them together. Mm -hmm. Nice. to make several you know like to i don't know how to say that like to stock them to do like a collage type of folia so i thought that was pretty cool and again because i love so much the photo fern i thought this would be a really good one because you know you can put it behind and then a flower and you're done so anyway and, and i then like you also the, have some rectangles yeah, exactly i was about to say don't forget those rectangles yeah, the rectangles for like okay. sentiments. Yeah, so those are really good. They coordinate with a lot of them. Um, but yeah, to me, it was the leaves really what sold me. Not so much. I mean, those are labels. I love labels. You know me. But uh, but yeah, the the dice were really what I love so much. So yeah, and I did not notice that those dies were like did that. So that's really cool to know. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to point out here in the catalog, like, I mean, I'm going to bring it up closer to the screen, what she's talking about. Like, so you can tell they've stacked several of those in the back here, different directions to build that like floral. I'm like, her. I don't know what you call it, but 
a floral thing well, seen yeah. behind the rectangle or whatever circle, whatever you put in front of it. So yeah, very cool. Yeah, so I'll have to add that to my list also. <laughs> Exactly. You already told me about some other dyes, which we'll talk about later. That I was like, "Ooh, what? yes, yes." Yeah, I was like, "What is this? Let me turn." Okay, I have to add that too. So, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go now to page 68 and 69. So, 68. Me and Allie love this one. It's called Darling Details. Yeah, this is the one we're using in our paper share, along with another one, which we'll show later. Um, paper share party and color refresh party for our make and takes. Don't forget, we showed y'all the sneak peeks earlier. We'll show them again at the end of all those projects you can make if you take those classes. So Darling Details is photopolymer. Oh, all my stamps are out of here because I was designing up until dinner tonight. <laughs> so they're all mounted except for these. Um, but it's photopolymer. And so it's just a beautiful flower, which you can stamp the inside you know, and just fill it in and not have to color it. And then the smaller one. And then three steps you can do here for these three leaves. One image that you can die cut out. Um, some other little leaves, little petal, like flower buds. It's uh, the filler images are distinctive. So they're going to have light and dark. It like they look amazing. Trust me. Do you want so me to show can... this? What do you have? So they can see it. How they oh, look. Yeah. Yes. See that? Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, and here, yeah, look at this. Look at this. I know. Uh -huh. So lots of different samples for your flowers. Yes. You and have to have this leaves, one. Yeah. I didn't do it, but I started to cut that single one off and move yes. it. Yes. Like you could oh, do yes. that if you, need, if you need to, because it's kind of awkward depending on the layout you do like i think how they use it here in the catalog i'm like oh that's probably how i'm supposed to be using it but i oh, was doing it more yeah yes <laughs> with two Same. flowers anyway <laughs> it looks very cute how i used it and how she used it but um anyway you could cut them apart is the point so ver versatile um at first though i thought i was like why do they have a christmas image in this <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. I was like, that's weird. I figured out it was the veins of the leaf, which really you should look at the catalog and you can see the kind of how it, whatever the word is, but progresses. Um, okay, so cute images. I mean, cute greetings with the fonts mixed. Happy birthday. Hello there, friend. Um, you're not here. I hate that. Just a note. Thank you. And count me among all the people who are here for you. Then these dies are really a lot. <laughs> How many dies is it? 18. Oh, yes. Eight. Because my eyesight. But um, it's two sheets of dies. You have this border. Um, you'll be getting to use these in the in the parties. Can't remember which and which party, so I don't want to lie. But of course, you can die cut out all of your stamped images. Plus, you have these standalone florals, leaves, tiny little leaves, and then these two frames. Do you have a frame cut there? I have one. Oh, I have one here. If you don't, have a I I mean, I only have it for the cart that I did. So yeah. So let me show this one. This is where I uh, put it on a piece of paper to see what it did. And I'm glad I did because I uh, didn't look at it closely and I assumed it cut off the shape. It does not. It does not. Yeah. Yeah. It Although just, with that combined on the other ones, right? On the other dies that you show, the corner or something. Mm, country, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Just I don't know. Um, mm, it's a different kind of corner though. Oh, uh, yeah. Different, you know, whatever the word is. But yeah, but still a good idea. But mm. luckily, I centered it perfectly <laughs> on this rectangle when I tested it. And that's what it makes. But you could make this outside piece as big as you want. So it makes a window is the point. And yes. then you have a, the larger window. Yeah. I didn't use it on my samples, but she did. And it looks super cute. So you're oh, my goodness. Yeah. Make and takes. And, um, Oh, and, and I did not put out these holes on purpose to show you that you do have to, if you want to, you do need to punch out all of those little keyhole things. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, punch out, poke out, whatever. Use your tool. Yeah. 
but they do with come the out. Tool, it went really easy to be honest if oh, you yeah. use a little brush so yeah so don't totally. be i just you know yeah in case yeah, yeah. you do have to poke those out and most of mine these just fell out like i tried to leave some because exactly. to show it uh, i was thinking for the class but yeah for this video it works too um yeah so great dies great make sure i'm putting these in the right case i just love this camp set so much i think the flowers are so cute yes waiting and you're moving all right mm. i only moved away from the mic when i went what did i go get what or when i went to get this for me if that's when i faded that's why if not i don't know <laughs> <laughs> um okay just my type page 69 super cute did you end up buying this one Allie? i did i, I have did. it too I have it. Yeah, uh, we had talked go. about it and she was like i think i bought it i just can't remember for sure so it's super cute it's photopolymer this typewriter is really big um so just my type on page 69 like the word t-y-p-e so it has like a typewriter but it's i don't know how you describe this but it's not like a realistic typewriter it's just like a you like a vintage it. i don't know it looks vintage. Yeah. it looks nice i love it yeah it's and it's cute cutesy but yet whatever um okay so there's that a couple of sheets the top edges of a couple do you of have sheets. the punch what punch the ones that is showing on that page. Oh no, I do not. I have it here. Hold on. See. Out of the case or out of the back. <laughs> <laughs> this is like brand new. It's called the Elegant Edge Tack Topper. And so supposedly you just need like a two inch. Let's just cut something here. I have see, so you're supposed it should be like a two inches. Oh it is. Oh good, good, good. So it is good. So let's just... <laughs> there you go. See, oh, oh gosh, honestly, oh, I look at that. I gotta add it to my list. Yeah, of course. That's so, cool. you can do your tags, right? Yes. So, that's really, really nice. That looks like it would be cute with that birthday balloon at the beginning. Oh, yeah, 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 that, yeah, right. I mean, not because you had that punched on there, but <laughs> just like the but style, yeah. it looks really nice. So, yes, so there you have it. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm sure that's in the back of the book as well, but it shows it up here um, on page 69 right here. I was like, what punch is she talking about? Because I thought she meant like a bundle. Okay, so there's a typewriter. There's the word hello, and it's one single stamp. So you don't have to like piece those together. It's just one stamp connected, um, but it's the circles like the old-fashioned typewriter keys that spell out hello. Some little flowers, a little envelope another small flower a little bitty flower pot that's striped and then some greenery but just solid i love that you don't have to color them in that you can stamp to go inside it a rainbow a heart a paper clip and then you can uh and sorry and then these words you hold the key to my heart hi thank you i hope your day is filled with sunshine and rainbows and for you so that's a great one on page 69 super cute and the punch Okay, so Earthen Textures is next. This is page 71. This is a suite, and this is the one I'm going to stamp with. So, although I'm not really stamping because we knew this video was going to be long. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Earthen Textures, I am going to assemble though, is the bundle, and I will show you the dies and everything. And then the suite features the Earth. Earthen Elegance 12 by 12 designer paper and the natural 1 4th inch wavy trim. So I will show you all of that in my card making right now. So I have the bundle here, but I made this little guide to the bundle. So I did not die cut out every image because um, Janet said I, I did not even notice that punch. Santa said neither did I. And I'm saying also, neither did I. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah. Add it to the wish list. <laughs> exactly. Um, so the stamp set is red rubber, by the way. And what I die cut out for this sample is up here. It's just the images that Ooh. you don't stamp and then die cut out, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, because y'all know what, when you stamp, 
this flower, what it looks like die cut out and this image and the pots and all that. I'm going to give you more info on those in a minute though. But look at these gorgeous die cuts. And then this one, I'll show you the die. It just embosses. It only embosses this piece here. Ooh. Yeah, it's a really nice just background kind of image. Um, and then there's oh, there dies go. to cut out all of the stamped images, the two bases and the three sort of florally. I'm not sure the correct word for what these are, but bases. These the the like oh flowers. the foliage foliage. foliage thank you that word. Um, and then there's this one which I I'm not really sure if this is for a tiny pot or to go on top. Yeah, you put it on or like on the middle, I think, or something, you know, maybe. Oh, yeah. No, in the middle. Put it in the middle. Middle. Oh, here? Oh, like a handle? No, I don't know, because it's no. Can you yeah, see it? Yeah. It's, um, mm. it's the word I'm looking for. Or maybe on the other one, the skinny one. I don't know. No. I don't know. I didn't have time to I don't know. play that far. I just blew it here. <laughs> um I love it. These, I don't know if these are palms or what they're called. This is like a fan, but it looks gorgeous. That's all I know. It looks gorgeous. And I use some of the colors from the designer paper and that they used on the samples in the book to stamp this out. So I stamped the entire stamp set here. We have the two bases, a really tall one and a shorter one. They're, they're not tiny. The tallest one is three inches tall the other one's one and three fourths and they're about an inch wide and um, they have texture on them it's hard to see i think my ink pads are super inked but this tall skinny one has like a leafy image at the very top let me show you on the stamp set you can even see it on there oh maybe it's supposed to be the bottom i can see it on the red rubber more hmm. it's right there I don't know if y'all can see it on the video, but look at yours in person. It's like leaves. Oh, and this is the one that comes in Spanish, by the way. And it's so popular, it's already sold out for a while. It comes in Spanish. And I even had a customer it, uh, email me and she was like, when is, you know, and she said the Spanish name. I don't know if you know what the Spanish name is, Allie. Oh, I can't remember the yeah. name. But, um. Textures, naturals, or something, but I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, she asked me when that was coming um, back. I'm texturas like, oh, naturales. Let me check. There you go. Texturas naturales. Say it again. Texturas naturales. All right. So it comes in right. Spanish. It's in our online store. Y'all can find it there or just ask us. <laughs> um, and the words are a little different in Spanish, they told us. Yeah. To be more useful but I thought or whatever. That the one the one that you didn't know, it was a face mask. <laughs> What? Landis <laughs> thought that? <laughs> Sarah. Sarah oh said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sarah. <laughs> I mean, you can turn stuff into other stuff. What if we turn it upside down? What does it look like? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, a face. I'm, I get you like a COVID face mask. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking like a superhero mask. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, Okay, so I love it. It's gorgeous. And uh, the words that come in the English version are with gratitude. Your thoughtfulness is much appreciated. You always know just what to say and do. Thank you. And you are proof there is good in the world. Okay, so what I am doing because I was limited on time is I'm going to recreate or create a catalog sample this one here which one? my version though i simplify everything mm. oh yeah so this one here um now i did uh ali and i both can give you a link to this it's called annual catalog sample recipes and it's a supply they oh, it's a thing they supply to demonstrators i just printed this one page um but all it is is a list of supplies it is not measurements nor instructions. <laughs> I was like, well, okay, I'll just guess on the designer paper. Never mind. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I was like, 
I mean, but I was glad it listed the colors because because I couldn't figure out what color the card base was. It looks lighter in the catalog. It's gray granite. Oh, um, okay, okay, so I have the natural wavy trim here that's part of the suite. It's looks awesome. Like it's just cool. It's just cool. Yeah. yeah. And then the designer paper, I'll show you real quick and then I'll make my card. So this is the Earth and Elegance 12 by 12 designer paper. Um, you have this pattern here, which is like, I think it's like some kind of um, leaves or seed pods or something. They kind of see stems there. It's all browns. It's really pretty. Just don't know how to describe it. Then the back of that one is a misty moonlight and black distressed situation. Then we have this pattern with mo moody mauve. It's like um, almost like a woven look but really wide weaves, <laughs> four, four lines each, little squares all over going different directions or oh, opposite yeah. directions. Yeah, really nice. And then the back of that is just this really awesome pattern. I think this is Pebbled Path, one of my favorite new colors, Pebbled Path. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's sort of a triangular or zigzag patterns. It kind of has a fabric look as well. This paper is just really nice. This is the one I use for the make and take or the project I'm going to make. Um, this pattern here, again, don't really know how to describe it, but it's really nice. I mean, it looks really like nice. it has texture. Yeah, it looks like 3D. Like, it looks like it's raised up, even yeah. in person. But, wow. yeah, obviously flat. And then the back of that is this, I believe that's Pretty Peacock. He's looking at my, yeah, Pretty Peacock. Again, just distressed with, like, like dark. Mm -hmm sanded a little bit look etc this one's really cool just these lines that are darker like the um pecan pie darker at the top and then it gets lighter in the middle and darker at the bottom but i don't know how to describe it's like just super like an ombre look kind of it is ombre but with lines with texture like, yeah. yeah the texture forms the ombre really cool like and a in the wood. back of, like mm -hmm. wood yeah a little like wood too yeah it's very versatile what it can be like yeah. and then here's a a uh, misty moonlight i believe pattern mm -hmm. i'm gonna check the color and it's very similar to this pattern i showed already not well it might be exactly the same i'm not sure it also can give you a denim feel if you want to go for that look yeah misty moonlight um so that was the back of that one and then look how gorgeous this is look at it <laughs> so light on top down the ombre into a, Ooh, a yes. peacock yeah but then all those black dots splattered on there mm -hmm. and the top is not white it's just like a tan like not really like a stampin up color but yeah uh, and then the back is this pattern here one of those that grows up from the bottom and up from the other side and blank not blank in the middle but pattern is not there but just check it out. It's almost like old, old, old stone or something as far as the, how the coloring is. And then there's this leafy, not, I don't know, again, how to describe it, but mm. almost like you carved these leaf images into, you know, stone, basically. And then check out the, oh, that's not the back. That, we did the back already. Check out this one. <laughs> this is like, let me see if you guys are just, Lori says oh, unique yeah. paper. Wow, yes. Right. This is, I don't even know how you describe it, but almost like big old thick paint or something, and then it dripped down, but it's so distressed, dark colors. Yeah. Really pretty, though. And then here's the back of that one, just this. And you know what? They used this paper for the base on the other, on one of the parts from your, from the catalog. And it looks really good. Yeah, looks really good. What do you mean? Oh, the this paper here. Yeah, the paper that has the like the dripping painting. Yes. And it does shows that little thing that looks like a mask. You see that? It has the oh so yeah. it goes there. Hmm. It is at the top. Yeah. I thought that might be it. I just didn't test it. Yeah. So let me show y'all what she's talking about. So here's that little die cut piece at the top of I guess the medium base. I'm looking at this one. I'm like, wait. Yeah. Sure. And also on the dripping one, it is also on the dripping one. Go down to the white. 
to the next. Oh, this? No. Yeah, this one. Yeah, there you go. It, has it gets it blurry when I bring it up close for some reason. Mm. And it does not normally do that, so I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, so check out page 70 for what all these samples we're talking about. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get this card together for y'all now. Who's so I'm... Out of the car? <laughs> huh? Sarah might be hungry because she said that other page looked like oozing frosting out of a chocolate cake layers. <laughs> My goodness. Sarah, get a snack now. Um, okay, I'm going to fold the gray granite card base in half. Five and a half, eight and a half. Then I cut this designer paper how I guessed the measurement, which I do that a lot. Um, I just eyeball stuff like it doesn't have to be perfect when I'm trying to copy something where I don't have measurements. So I cut it, you can tell it's as tall as the card. So it's five and a half by three and a half. And it's that textury pattern, like, or like really popped up looking pattern. Okay, so let me just glue that down. And then, so it's glued to the side of the front with more space on the left and less on the right, basically. And then what I did was stamp, I could not tell if they stamped these two pots or they cut from designer paper on either one of them. So I just decided to stamp them. Um, again, I'm just not doing it now to save time. So... I stamped in Moody Mauve on Moody Mauve and Misty Moonlight on Misty Moonlight and die cut them out. What I wanted to show you that I discovered at first, I was like, are these dies even supposed to match this? If you can see the stamping on there, um, it's a tight fit. Like the, you almost can see the outside of the image when you mm -hmm. lay the die on top, which is not how normally how our dies are. And some of the images left after you die cut it out. So just be aware of that and center it as best you can. And that's how you die cut it out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, I cut out this. This thing has a real name. Please tell me. And you can the tell they folded it. What do you call it? Oh. No, I thought okay. you were meaning the color, but no, you're talking oh, this about is the pecan leaf. pie. Very good. good, yeah, good point though. Um, anyway, you can tell in the sample they folded these on the score marks there. Give it more texture. I'm just using my thumbnail and my hand. Oh my god! Whatever it is, it's beautiful. See that? little fan <laughs> okay um and then i stamped and die cut out the one of the sprig type images uh, foliage that they used in i did pecan pie on that one i couldn't really tell for sure what they used i did pecan pie and then i also die cut out these two images here the little sort of grass image in misty moonlight and this image which is a a decoration to put on one of the pots mm. these little sort of x's in uh, copper copper clay oh copper clay okay copper clay yes hmm. okay and then i cut my designer paper strips that they used at one inch because i wasn't sure and i didn't have time to put a sample together so we'll figure that out if i need to trim them down so what i'm going to do first just what I'm going to do first is use my silicone craft sheet and add a little bit of adhesive to this little X pattern detail thingy and stick it to the front of this misty moonlight, the shorter pot, and then trim off the excess. You can see it's much bigger. Not sure why they made it much bigger. It's probably be used some other way as well. So I will turn it over to the back and trim. So that looks really cute. And then the tall base 
which I keep looking, I think the really straight edge is supposed to be the top and the curved one is the bottom based on how they have it positioned here. And they show it with that floral, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> barely visible floral thing at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, where is it? I'm just going to scotch tape this wavy trim to the back. So I'm going to use five rows of it. <clears throat> I have to get some water. It is nice to have to do this tour with somebody else because you get a nice break of talking and thinking. <laughs> you can like <laughs> breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I'm just like, da -da -da -da, and by the end, I'm like out of breath and out of voice. So this is really nice. Um, let me put some adhesive on the back to, to hold it. I forgot the best. Yep. Yeah, like do a temporary hold and then I'll tape it to. So I'm just up through some adhesive back there and I'll wrap these around. This is definitely more elaborate than a card I would normally make. <laughs> but that's good. Hold on. Um, this gives me the chance to make a card like that. And of course, we a lot of times we forget to use the catalog as inspiration. So don't forget about that. Mm, that's true. That is so true. But I, it's funny because a lot of times when I'm looking on Pinterest for something, I'll pin something, then I'll copy it. And then later I realize it was from the Stampin' Up! catalog. <laughs> but it didn't stand out to me in the catalog. But on Pinterest, it looked amazing. It's funny. Okay, so just... Pretty quick and easy there. You can be more precise if you want. You know, it might be a little crooked, but hey, I'm going to tape it to secure. Regular old tape. Cool. All right, so we have that. Oh, and I did pre stamp my greeting. I stamped two just in case because I couldn't tell. I'm not sure if they tore the edges. I just can't see it good. Um, they Where? might have torn. Oh, yeah, they the yeah. yeah. It is torn. Okay, so I'm just yeah. going to tear both ends. It's just a half inch strip of basic white, one half inch. And I stamped it in misty moonlight. And it says, you always know just what to say and do. So I stamped two in case I didn't like what I did with the first one. Um, so let me start laying this out. for see, I think this is too wide but I needed to see it all visually kind of put together yeah I think I'm going to go down to three-fourths of an inch probably on both of those yeah and then, it looks right it's too wide it is so you need like three quarters of an inch and you need two pieces for the blue and one on the multicolor exactly. one exactly so I'm going to do I'm just going to cut this at four inches and then three-fourths Hopefully I can slice off just a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes that's really hard. Mm -hmm. You know, only taking yeah. off a tiny little sliver. You, know, you mess up the whole thing. And <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're me, you get all annoyed. and. Yes. I do like the little trimmer for that, to be honest, for that reason. I know. I always <laughs> forget. I have that right there. Like, it's within my reach, but I never remember to use it. Never. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. I see you use it all the time. <laughs> yeah, we have that. I mean, we don't have it anymore, but. Yes. yes. Um, okay. So, now I have these. Let me look. So, I think I'm going to. And they're torn as well. So, always pull toward you. When you're tearing, um, or have the front of the paper facing you and pull toward you. That will leave mm -hmm. the white inside showing, unless it's our new specialty, that oh, yes. white core. Um, so see on this side, I'm pulling toward me as well. I'm just going to stick it down because it does not have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be exactly like theirs. Whatever we do is fine. And then yeah. I'm going to place, <laughs> exactly. Nobody, well, in this case, they might have seen the original, but who cares? Okay, so I put some adhesive <laughs> on the back of the Misty Moonlight pot and then stuck this palm thing to it. And I'm going to cut the excess off because the stem is really long. 
cut that off. And I think I'm safe to glue this down. I no, not look... yet. Because oh, yeah, you need the multiple purpose. Okay, yeah, she's right. More designer like, don't! <laughs> Let me tear this paper. Let me measure it out. It's kind of... There you go. All the way to the end. Yes, perfect. Good call, Allie. Yes. Yeah, and what I was going to say, so you might look... I can't really tell if it's if this is on dimensionals or this one's flat and the next one's on dimensionals. Oh, I would go with dimensionals. For I'm both. a dimensional person. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I would you glue the dimensionals see. on the sentiment though. I just glue that one just, on top of it. Right, because yeah. it'll be Yeah, it will be too on too much, those yeah. two raised up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see how we're just kind of like just go with it. Like it's close enough to what you're copying. Um, okay, so dimensionals, I like to use the minis, but either size works, obviously. I'm gonna do yes. Alejandra's worst nightmare and put those three. I know. And then maybe, <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe three like right here. It'll be mm. fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Yes, now I think I am safe to put this one down. Yes. Doop, doop, doop. Just look at the sample. Oh, wait. Below. It looks amazing, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think all my stuff is lower than the catalog. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm peel these dimensionals off. On the. I did not peel any of those dimensionals off. <laughs> um, it's lower on the card front, but you know, again, we just don't tell people it was supposed to be higher and they won't know. They won't know. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to add adhesive to the back of the mauve. Um, What's your favorite in color since we are into the mauve? I think, honestly, um, right now i honestly think it's pebbled path mm, yeah mine it, too yeah and it's not like that's an exciting color but it's just really a pretty neutral I guess. Of, yeah yeah i agree with you so i glued those to the back and then i'm going to add dimensionals um and i will add a little more because i have tape on here which may or may not like these may or may not stick to it well then we have these pieces of um, cardstock that are loose. So just to make sure nothing falls apart later for me. Yes. But you could put more as well. I'm just overlapping. I'll pick up these palms and put them in front. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. and just add my greeting and I'm done. Okay, so I'm just going to do flat, you know, like Allie said, just adhesive because these two are popped up already. That goes there. And yes. I think we recreated it pretty good. Yes, it looks really good. Thank you. And now I have this sample. Woohoo. <laughs> that I would never make if it was just on my own. <laughs> Eleanor says y'all are having too much fun. Isn't that pretty, everybody, though? What do y'all think? Oh, Ooh, yeah. Zana says love wild wheat. Wow, wheat. Love it. Okay. My neat least favorite for Karen is the mauve. That's interesting. Very interesting. Because it's pink. No. <laughs> oh, because it's pink. Come on. Come on, y'all. So the three colored inks I used were oh, sorry, I don't haven't labeled this one yet. Misty Moonlight, Moody Mauve, and Pecan Pie on this card. All right, so that was Earthen <coughs> Textures Bundle Earthen Elegance Suite. And um, I hope you guys love it like I do. And don't forget, it comes in Spanish, which is really cool. It's our only Spanish set right now, the only one. But this, like, everybody buy it because this is a test so we can get more in the future. Yes. If you and buy only, it, yeah, exactly. Depending only, on the test, we'll get more. <laughs> and it's only in the U.S., so if you are in another country and you're like, what, what are you talking about? Yeah, they don't, they're testing it in the U S so. Shouldn't they have it in Europe? I mean, they have his screen. <laughs> that's what, that's what some other people said on the, the, um, you know, leader video. Oh. Know, leader <laughs> group. 
But I mean, I don't know. Don't ask me. All right, man. I didn't, they didn't ask us. <laughs> they didn't ask us. Nor did they ask anyone in Europe. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Let me see. It's 821. So we've been on Ooh. almost two hours. But that was our last stamping. So we'll probably be moving a little quicker now. Um, I'm, and I think I'm almost time to turn it over to Allie. But on page 74 is the Time Together Bundle. I do think this one's really cool. I don't know when it'll get bought by me. You know, because I'm not sure what all. Where are you? Uh, oh, 74. you mean the one on seventy-two? You mean seventy-two? Uh -oh. One of oh, those. Oh, I did. You're one. right. And I'm trying to find my. I don't have that here. one, but. Oh, right here. Okay, <laughs> seventy-two. This is a million dollar. Not that we've been pointing all of those out, but um, <laughs> courage and faith by Natalie Travis. So, um, I believe this is one two. Ten. So these are individual images. I wasn't sure if this was a single or a double. So you have these two images that um, like floral and greenery that you can surround these sayings with on both sides, whichever direction. So we have be of good courage, Psalms 27, 14. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, oh, Proverbs 35. Hello? <laughs> heard a voice. Um, in everything, give thanks. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Uh, there's a couple of other half moon shape, again, images where you can surround your, your sayings. So really, really nice, nice one, right? Us. And that's, you know, the more religious sentiments have been requested a lot, at least by people I know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So that's a good one. And it goes okay. really well with that other stamp set that is right below that. So I think it will be that's nice. That's true. Hope and prayer. Yep. Pray my prayers. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, I missed the little pink in. I, I was trying to rush. Okay. Time together on page 74. Um, and I was looking for my ruler. So it's a sand. What are these called? Um, time. Some, what are sand times? <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of what it's called, but it's the thing you, it has full of sand and you turn it over <laughs> to time something and the sand falls through to the other side. Somebody's going to tell us what it's called. Hourglass. Thank you, Stella. It's an hourglass. So it is there you go. Al almost four inches tall by two inches wide. So it's really big. There's dies. You There's like a die to create the outside, like a little wooden thing. The hourglass would be held by. Um, then there's the sand in the shape of a heart, plus just the sand in the normal shapes of it falling from the top to the bottom. Um, I'm trying to look at these dies. There is a heart die. I'm sure it, yeah, the heart matches that one. There's a nice banner die and some three image, three greetings that fit in the banner. A floral, you know, a flower with a leaf and sprig on left and right. That's pretty versatile. There's also in the dies, let me go to page 160, like Allie did earlier. There is a smaller hourglass die hmm. that just stands alone. So, like, um, here's the big one, and here's a little bitty one <laughs> that has the, like, whatever, this outside part all within one image. Hopefully that makes sense. So, and then you can cut out the stamped images as well. Um, I miss you every minute of every hour. Time to oh. celebrate. Happy birthday. I love you until the end of time. And then there's a one that's not in the banner shape. Time has a wonderful way of showing us what really matters. Mm. Very, pretty nice. I think it's cool. I just have to figure out when I'll use it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that was 74, 76. Uh, there's one. Oh no! See, I'm missing the red ends. There's two new ones here. They're both basically wedding and anniversary type stamps. Although, uh, so the one on top, Everlasting Beauty, has several different types of floral images that are outlined that you can color in. And I don't know what kind of. They're all different. However, to me, this one looks like that thistle. <laughs> It's different, but it yeah. looks, well, it's probably not. It's something else. But anyway, y'all can name the flowers for us if you want. 
but the words are cursive and there's one that says take courage happy anniversary here's to the all the beautiful things yet to come and if friends were flowers i'd have what if friends were flowers i'd have the pick of the bunch <laughs> Not I would pick you, but I'd have the pick of the bunch. Okay. And then the other stamp set, here's to love. So there is a couple, nine stamps. Oh, I think each cup, each part of the couple is separate. That's cool. So there's a woman. It's her back with like a strapless gown on and a, her hair in a bun. And then a man from the back <laughs> with a suit and short hair. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like that's it. Then there's a little flower thing, I guess, for a bouquet or I guess it's a bouquet. And then what is this like for the to put on the dress? Maybe for like no for the um, flower. You know how they have the little things in the flowers oh, on the flowers. Yeah. So it's like yeah. rings or streamers. It also could be a horse tail. I'm just saying. Like yeah. <laughs> Or um, you can put it as bail, you know, like if you put something that like a, something from her hair or something, you know, like a the bail. bail. Yes. I was thinking bail, but then I was like, but where's the rest of it? So I don't I know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, you can put the flowers oh. on the hair, you know, like if it was like a, I don't know. Just I was no. thinking that, but it's kind of big. I don't know. It is. I was, um, yeah, it was like there's a like a little sparkler, which you can repurpose for New Year's and mm. whatever. It's a sparkler. And then yeah. four fancy font greetings. Here's to love. You're invited. Congratulations to having to hold. Oh, I am not with it. This whole page is new stuff. I mean, both pages. The whole thing, yes. I know. I'm like <laughs> thinking it's just these two. Page 77, kindest expressions. Do you have this one yet? No. I was thinking about that one. I don't think I saw it until just now. <laughs> yeah, me too, really. Because I thought it was one we already sold. Honestly, yeah. flipping through. It's different. So it's huge greetings. Huge, y'all. And um, it has thanks so much with sympathy, sending sunshine and rainbows and oh, happy day. Again, mm -hmm. like two and a half inches tall. It's really nice. And this font like that's probably my favorite font that's uh, the cursive one it's so pretty okay 78 i still have like a couple a couple more with new stuff here um yeah. 78 79 is the let's go fishing suite so all i have is the designer paper however <laughs> <laughs> um it is a really cool set if you know anyone who fishes because yeah. <laughs> Because, um, uh, sorry, I got distracted. I was trying to read comments. I need to let Allie read the comments. Okay. You know, you've got fly fishing stuff. You've got uh, fish in the stamp set. You've got, lure, what are these called? Lures and the round thing that floats. Yeah. I, forgot. I don't I know what the name was. But I know. No, I used to know the names, but not anymore. Um, dies to cut them all out. It looks like one of the dies is uh, uh, maybe water, page 157, maybe like a water line. Can't tell because it's tiny. yeah, yeah, yeah. It is here yeah. on your car on the car from the oh, where it yeah. says good times, whatever, or yeah, oh, good yeah, things. Come. It is there, yeah, it so is really good. And you're right, yeah. this is great for you know the guys that fish masculine. or the girl, of course, yeah, masculine, yes. yeah. Exactly. You know what? Fishing. I wasn't like I'm not thinking about buying it. However, you know, at work, almost everyone I see from my world uh -huh. are into fishing. So I was like, well, maybe I should. <laughs> so I don't know. Right. Look at this on this sample about retirement. Mm -hmm. Lori. It's like they die cut that in silver. So there must be a die that cuts those um scales. yes yes it is and right there that's on the silver paper i'm not sure what silver paper but anyway we'll talk about that another time um oh, oh and this right. one too silver. actually is silver as well so and then i really love though how it makes the little tackle box so you cut the lid and it has the bottom which by the way nice large rectangle die with curved edges mm -hmm. you can just always use that for other stuff but um, yeah. then you can put little things in the little drawers and you could turn that into a crafting box to match our crafting stamp set. Or, or a we shaker car. 
<laughs> exactly. We talked about on the team one time, someone said it, to just take out the pieces that fall out and glue them back together alone on a card and you have paper piecing immediately. Yes. Does that make sense? I cut this with a few pieces of paper. You could use that as a template to glue them back down, but then don't put that on there. So mm. it's cool. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to put it on your on your list. The tackle box can be used for flowers or sentiments. Ooh. <gasps> Ro, Ro, Roxanne, Roxanne, you hear what she said? So cut yeah. out all mm -hmm. these rectangles and now you can stamp greetings on them. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. We got to get it. <laughs> so we're going to be getting this. <laughs> <laughs> the next order. Um, let me flip through the paper real quick. There is fish and lots of fishing stuff, but there are some neutral sides Ooh. as well. So it definitely not just fishing. See, mm. beautiful, neutral. Mm -hmm. That was the same one. Those are little, um, the little fish hooks with the bait. I guess it's called bait. I know it's another word. What's the fake bait? Um, okay. More, I want to call them lures, but I can't remember if that's right. It's been too long. My grandparents fished, and that's mainly where I learned these terms from. <laughs> <laughs> this one's like oh, a map. Yeah. yeah, really nice. This one's like water, by the way. I use this on our paper share. Mm, it looks nice. Yes. <laughs> um, fishing Ooh, poles and strings. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and the back of this one is like a net, but I just love it. It's so pretty. Well, you know what? For a scrapbooking, especially if you have, you know how there's pictures with you holding the fish? <laughs> exactly. Oh, 100%. And then here's yes. the front and back of this last one. This is almost like a, a wood grain here, but in blues with large mm -hmm. planks. They're almost like sections. Or it can be like denim or whatever you want. And then the back is all these blue fish. So... That okay. is that one. Yeah. So I think we're all going to just go ahead and buy that. I'm going to get this this thing. The more I think about it. <laughs> well, whoever wrote Roxanne talking about making these as greetings, I'm like, yes, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. And then my last oh, two pages. Lure. So maybe you're right. Fishing lures. Lures. Okay. Said the same thing, lures. Thank yes. you. I thought, but I was like, is that what that word And Sarah meant? said something about the other one being the bulver. Is that right? Bulver? 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 Lure? Oh, lure? What? Sarah, no, oh, Sarah, bulver. Look at a bulver. Maybe the yeah. round thing? I don't know. Yes, bobbers and floaters. I forgot about those words. They float on top of the water. I think so you know where your hook kind of yes. is. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we're, we're relearning. <laughs> Ooh, we're learning here. Um, okay, so last but not least, these are all cutesy stamp sets. They'd be great for little, well, the pizza one's great for oh anybody, but great for I, little boys or girls, yeah. as we said, because they are both like all kinds of stuff. Girls are into science too, but um, they're all sort of a younger style to me anyway. But yes, supremely awesome is all about pizza. Who doesn't like that? You have a pizza man holding a pizza pie. A mm -hmm. couple of slices. These are outline images you could color in. A couple of utensils there. Together we make a deluxe combo. You're supremely awesome. You've got a <laughs> what? You've got a pizza, my heart. Okay, I get it. But, and then this like a checkered back, uh, checkered border image. And then the the science one. It's a science, so this is great I for anybody. But yeah. yeah, but like also Big Bang Theory or. Yeah, Breaking Bad fans. <laughs> Those are a couple yeah. shows I know that to me that makes me think of. But you got yeah the beakers and the you'll have to say what these symbols are, Ellie. Um, yeah, the yeah. Bin, yeah, whatever. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh, it's like the binging things, but anyway. Um, and these I don't know the names in English for these. So <laughs> I forgot what this the is called. The atom is right there. The atom, microscope. Yeah. The atom. On, and then these are the called matrices in Spanish, but I have no clue what these are in English. These ones, I think those are beakers. I think it's no beakers are the 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 things. <laughs> this is like a matrix. So, like I said, I know it in Spanish. I don't know what they call in English because <laughs> I use them at school. <laughs> right, exactly. The cute little yeah. notepad or clipboard. I mean, and then this one, yes. you matter. Uh-huh. You plus me. 
<laughs> chemistry. It's like chemistry. a math equation. There you go. Um, you're like a let's celebrate. Proton. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah, celebrate. E L L abrate. Yeah. You're so I'm like gonna be getting proton. this one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a proton, always positive. Did you read the birthday <laughs> one? <laughs> uh, it's your <laughs> It's your birthday. Yes. That's so funny. Definitely getting that one. <laughs> yeah. And then last but not least on my page, 81. Construction mm -hmm. zone. We have all these work trucks. Um, yeah. I like that one for Oliver. I can't think of what their names are, but. Um, the little truck. Cement, I don't know how they pull you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cement. Forklift. Some kind of crane thing. Oh, a little construction cone. That's cute. And then a construction man, a tiny one. And so you can put balloons in his hand or a gift or just use the gift stamp somewhere else. There's like some, a little sign with an arrow. I guess this is a, there's a, a image with stripes on it. Um, oh, and Betsy like gave, tape, it, like, sorry, mm -hmm. interrupt. Betsy gave the names on the things that I didn't know. It was flask, graduated, cylinder, and beaker. So. Yes. She knows each one individually. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, that's construction zone. Definitely great for anyone who works construction or little kids who like those kind of toys. Cute samples on this page, too. All right. I'm ready to let you go. You go. Woo. Yeah. So, I am... Um, yeah okay so here yeah so these are new the next destination so i think this is great for vacation right so like a scrapbook i thought more of a scrapbooking than a car to be honest uh for those i thought those will be really great um and we have the sentiments time to make new memories explore the dream and discover and enjoy your next adventure so yeah i thought this one was well this one could go for a car but i thought the images were more for like scrapbooking or at least i thought i would use those for that um the next one is the sweet and precious which has these um the animals with a mom and baby so appreciating all you do and there's a giraffe a mom giraffe with a little baby bring on the cuddles and it has i don't know how what is the name of this one what is this animal? Uh, sloth. The sloth. sloth, yes. Thank you. I'm like, I don't know. What is the name of that one? <laughs> um, then you have a penguin. I believe in you, and I'm always here for you. So really cute for uh, cars, for sure. Let's go with the next one. These are not new. I think I put... Then we have the, the stargazing suite. I don't have the paper right with me. I don't know if you have that one, Jennifer. Yes, I can show this paper and the holographic. Yes, the holographic because yeah, so that looks amazing. Yeah, so this holographic paper is amazing. Wow. Um, look at this middle sheet. Oh, MG. Yes. And the back yes. one is more just, well, those are all my lights reflected. It's flat. I mean, I don't know how to say it, but it doesn't have these wavy lines. Little lines, lines yeah. It is holographic this one to me it's purple on this end and you can't tell because of my lights but it's per more purple on one end and more pink on the other because i cut it up for one of our cards for the share mm -hmm. and i was like oops i got i mean it didn't matter but i got the purple end but there is a more pink end so just be you know it's cool because you can get purple and pink but yeah. also whatever you put on top it'll look like and then here's the paper it has a couple of different sheets with planets on it big these huge big planets in these beautiful bright colors it's so pretty and then lots of skies and stars on the back of a lot of these these are a couple like wow. of, yeah like galaxies there might these mm. maybe specific images of something and then check out this um mm. lemon lime twist just which i think that's something in space right these lines but i I don't mm -hmm. know what it is. It's something. Well, you could put it for like if you cut like another uh, planet, those would look really cute, you know, with the lines or whatever too. So exactly. I think that's like something. <clears throat> then there's this like a Milky Way. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Uh -huh. And then again with wow. the same pattern, but in pumpkin pie. Mm. On the back of that one. Oh, you know what? Those could be for like Halloween too. Mm. 
yes oh yes i just love these two because yeah. and i love they're making me like pumpkin pie again it seems brighter in these papers so yeah. again here's the galaxy or whatever this is and then Ooh, just, look at that yeah right blue with stars and a little white smudging there yes and then this one's similar to the one i just showed but it is different mm -hmm. so pretty um one thing about these is when you cut them up smaller you're going to get chunks that don't have this pretty middle section so just you know you can work with it but there you go wow. and then they're very burst on the back Beautiful. same stars as the blue one i showed yes beautiful the other oh i like that one yeah this is the other planet one because these two are gonna be a repeat of what i showed um so there are more oranges and purples and mm -hmm. coral i think on this one and then the back is just again a nice night sky dark sky with stars of course um these are the two i showed already but that's the whole thing the one with the green on the back mm -hmm. like the black hole no i don't know <laughs> and then here's the whole planet one that i showed already mm. just the full sheet i mean okay yeah. so it's gorgeous but it um, is yeah. i remember i think i remember betsy saying she was gonna really love the the space stuff so, oh, yeah, let me go back to you so you can show them the stamps and stuff in the catalog anyway. Okay. You're on. Okay. I am gone. Yeah, I think uh, Sarah says this is uh, her favorite, I think. So, maybe it's Sarah. It's really nice, yeah. Yeah, I think it was Sarah. I think one of her daughters might be into space or something like that. I don't remember, but I think it was her. Um, mm -hmm. Greetings, friends. If I had a star for every time. You brighten my day. I had an entire galaxy. That's a really good one. I like that one a lot. Yes. Reach for the stars and you're a stellar. Yes. So I really like that one. I was and thinking I to give this for like uh, Oliver too. He is also sometimes into all the things of space. Although right now he's more into dinosaurs, but I know he also was um, into the astronauts in the sky. So, and the, yeah, universe, I should say. So anyway. And I love that shuttle stamp. Yes. I mean, I like the astronaut and the shuttle. They're so big and bold and detailed. And I the, I, I gotta say that I saw someone do, doing, doing, uh, stamping this one with a station on one of the holographic mm. paper. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then on the dies, let me show you this. There is like little flames. So she put it like, <gasps> Planes. It looked amazing. I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. See this? So something like this. Yeah. But with the holographic paper, it just looked amazing. So and that cutting really... those rings with the holographic. It's gonna be nice. Oh yes. Yes. Yeah. No, that paper is amazing. All right, so okay. let's get to the next one. Um, this one, fun for on the wheels. Fun on wheels is this one. And it's also another one that is a bundle. So you have a die set that will cut all of those. Um, I didn't get this one, so I don't I don't really have them. <laughs> so it says, look at you go. At every turn of life, may you find adventure. High five. It's a good day to have a good day. So the sentiments I like, I don't know that I'll be using those for cars. So anyway. Yeah, I like how it looks. And I like the style of the bicycles mm -hmm. and uh, skateboard and scooter. Yeah. But I'm with you. Like, I don't know personally if i need it yet so yeah. we'll see but yeah and then look at this one now it did call my attention this one because you yeah. have the bike so that one looks cute but then again like i said it's just i'm not really sure i'll be getting that one but it's cute <laughs> it definitely could be good for scrapbooking too like you were talking about with something mm -hmm. else simply because yes. like if you have kids that bike or scooter or whatever oh, yes. and they're big images so yeah absolutely yes all right the next one it's a favorite and it is the crafting with you and i do have that set and this one is photopolymer so you can see it here there is a sewing machine there is our cotton bows machine it has uh the little i don't know the painting i don't know how to like i don't know how to call this thing but it's for a paint you have the brushes the what easel oh I easel think. yeah thank you there is a basket and then sort of jarn bowls um, and then it says, life is better when you're crafting with love, sending you a handmade hug. 
which I think you can put it at the back of your car, you know, because they always say that that's a hug. Oh. <laughs> and you inspire me. So really, really nice. Now, the die said it's even better. So there is a hoop for like people who are into embroidery. So I thought that was really cool. There are some spools and there's some uh, pieces that you can use to put like, like simulate yarn or ribbon to go on your spools. Um, there's also a paper trimmer and I don't know if you've noticed, but there's also a little, the little cutter. So this is our paper trimmer and the little cutter. Um, you have a ruler, a basket, uh, this one to cut out the flowers, uh, buttons, and these ones are for the brushes and this one for the basket. So you can cut out the stamp images as well as others. And then you also have, um, the scissors. So you can do our scissors as well. So I thought it was really good. And then there's these shapes that has like hearts, different shapes of hearts, flowers, star, another heart. So it really is a good one, to be honest. I thought it was really good. I really cute. liked it. I do have one sample I got in a swap I can show. Oh, quick. you can show. Yes. So I don't have any. <gasps> oh, yes. It is. Yeah. It stamps really nice because it's like distinctive. So you get light and dark. Yeah. Mm hmm. There's that. Longer. Yes. Yeah. That's my last. Oh, yeah. I think that's the last sample. No, besides the daisies, that's my last one. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's that. Let me put it back into the box. Let's see. Then we have this one. Like, if you're into gaming, <laughs> here's the level <laughs> complete. <laughs> when it feels like game over, always choose to play again. I love that one. You know, I <laughs> thought it was pretty cool. Um, level up. Um, congratulations, achievement unlocked, and then happy birthday. So I think this is a great one to um, to make like cars for your teenagers. I thought that one was a really good one. Um, I don't have it though, but probably probably we'll get it later on. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute. It is, and I love love the sentiments more than everything. I think the sentiments looks really good, and like oh, my yeah. brother, he is big into the gaming. So I thought of him when I saw this one for sure. So at the top, they show that patchwork dies. Oh yes, and that sample yeah. there. Do you yeah. have your dice? This no, one? I don't. I don't have that one yet. Oh yeah, I don't have that either. Let me put in my lighting here too yes all right so the next is no oh, i think i'm skipping several pages here yeah so the next one is the ink botanicals i don't have the bundle but i do have the paper with me so this is a six by six and um i like the color combination you know what i was really really sad when i find out that the mint mac uh, mint macaron was gonna go <laughs> and Los Lagoon looks really nice. I'm not really missing that much the mint macaron. It goes really well with our colors. So I'm very excited to be yeah, honest. I agree. Um, <clears throat> look at this one. So now this one has, I should have taken one of each and I didn't. So mm, it's going to take a little <laughs> bit longer. Yeah, sorry. I should have. I did it for the other paper that I'm going to be featuring, but not for this one. I totally forgot that. Um, so you can see one side has the flowers. Um, the other one has more like a background. You can see here, love that side. And the color combination is really like your Calypsos, your um, uh, Crush Curry, or is this Crush Curry or that for the other life? Hold on. Crush Curry. I'm like, hold on. Um, did I show this one? Nope. Where am I? Yep, this one. There we go. This is that one. Um, I'm missing one. Oh, here is like I'm missing one. There you go. So you have one side that has um like a pattern, and the other one that is more like a background too. See that flowers and background. I'm almost done here. And I didn't realize this one was six by six until we were doing our paper share, and I was typing up the notes. I was like, oh, yeah. So interesting. It is really nice, and I liked it a lot. I mean, I I really enjoy that we have. So here is the thing. Whenever I'm doing the sketches, for those of you that know me, <laughs> I love using a sketches. And I always love to have a paper pack where I have multiple designs that coordinate together. Because, you know, sometimes we only have two or three sheets that coordinate, and then there's different color combinations. It is pretty and everything, but it's sometimes we're trying to do multiples of. 
sometimes it gets a little bit harder. But when you have something that has that many and they all combinate or coordinate, I just love it because it makes it so much easier when you're making the cards, right? Like there's no way, like this whole paper pack coordinates completely. Now it's, um, there's some pieces that look more like for fall um, and some others that doesn't have really, um, like these two could go for any occasion. So I thought the paper over, overall was really, really good. So nice. if you don't have this one on your wish list, you should probably add it because it's a good one. <laughs> so anyway, and like I said, oh, and then there's the Los Lagoon uh, ribbon. Let me show you that. I should have it here. Here we go. Look at that one. It is, uh, it is a good size. Um, it's like a, what is, I don't know if it says here. It should. Where is the, where is the English? Here, it is a one fourth of an inch. It's not too bulky, so I really like it to make the bows. It was really good. And it's not too thick, so like I said, it's really, look at that. Really, really nice. And that's part of the suite. Um, the bundle, so this one has two punches and it goes, it is like this one. So, okay, so you can see them here. They don't really go too much with the suite, to be honest. I didn't see like patterns on the paper that will go like, that would cut the shape. But you can see that because there's a lot of backgrounds, it goes really well. But there's not a, like a shape that you're punching like other ones that we have. So, if that makes sense. Um... And then the stem set has like a flower, two, three flowers, and then leaves, sentiments, hello, friend, just a note, thank you, happy birthday, congratulations, lots of love. So really a good one as well. All right, next one is the layering leaves, which we show. This is the one that we're going to be using for our paper share. And like I said, uh, it coordinates with the bow punch which is this one so this is not a new punch it's been already with us probably like a year or two um and i love that now we have a stamp set that coordinates with that one the sentiments i love them my favorite of course is sending hugs i'm always putting hugs everywhere <laughs> on my email so i was like this is me i love that one so very excited and with the, this one the font and, is so nice the fun is not and the, yes sorry say that again go ahead when you stamp them, you're like, oh, it just looks so nice. Yes, it is like bold. And again, you have both the script and the cursive. So it mm. looks really nice. It says, so happy to celebrate you. Thank you so much. Hello for you. Best wishes, sending hugs and thinking of you. Um, I love these. Um, I don't know how to call these things like a, like a spaddle. Spaddle? I don't know. Spider. Whatever it is. Better, yeah. So I like that one a lot. I think that as a filler, it goes really well on your on your images. So definitely another one. And this is the one that we're using on our on both the paper share and the color refresh parties. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, this one is the ball bouquet, and I don't have it yet. Um, I love that it's flowers, so I probably will be getting it later on. <laughs> Because I love all the flowers, but I love that on the on the that it seems like it also has some of the foliage, which is a big thing for me. I really like having those. Um, but anyway, this one says thanks uh, for blessing my life, happy birthday for a fabulous friend, and I love that there are bigger ones, so that also I like that. And then you have this one thinking of you, caring about you, wishing you strength and peace. So I think it's really really nice as well. You know, even for like. Um, like a sympathy card will be really good, I think. Uh -huh. It is now. So let me go to the next one. Oh, here. This one is one of those that you're going to be um, to be making like a whole scene. Honestly, that's not really my style, but I've seen really big, uh, good uh, samples with something similar where, where you color the different pieces with your markers. Mm. And so they look really nice. It's just not my style, but I thought these were like you can be coloring some pieces and um and give the watercolor look. So anyway, so that's that. Um sentiments, so glad you are in this world with me. Live your biggest dream. Have a beautiful birthday. And then there's these little birds that you can add on your on your piece as well, on your card. So 
And then I think this is the last one, right? Yes. So this one is the masterfully made. And the I have the paper. I don't have the sentiment. And believe it or not, these didn't make it on my book. So I'm getting a correction for that. Because <laughs> I, I do <laughs> want to have them. <laughs> um, and they, they sent that. me. You do? Oh, perfect. Did you have? Because I don't. And I'm like, oh, I love them. Yeah, they're really pretty. So I'll show it real quick. Yes. <gasps> yes. Look at that. Right. Woo. So, like yeah. clear flamingo and pretty peacock. Is that right? With white? Um, That sounds right. They never they're list really... the colors on these. Oh, I know, right? But they look really good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. As far as the paper, the paper is very interesting. I actually like it a lot. <laughs> you do like it? I do, especially I, the ones with the flowers. Do you? Well, I've been wanting to see it, so I'm gonna oh. watch you. Oh my gosh! Yes. So I I love that one a lot because you know it's just like so the way they have it is like they uh, rip paper and make flowers and other designs on the paper. I do love that one. See this one? You have you can you see the texture and the depth on those, and so I like that a lot. So this one I like, and then you have the fun or the script here. So it looks like a paper underneath. So really, really nice. And look at this. I feel like you can mm -hmm. use this one on your car, like your background, and it looks like you were doing all the tearing, but this is a paper. So oh. I did like it a lot, <laughs> to be honest um this one was one of my favorites and in fact that's the piece of paper that i use for the cart i wanted to use this one of course because they go really well right the, with the um oh what is the name oh price freesia but i i use this one of the specialty papers that we have now that goes well with this one i'll show you here in a second um so anyway the back of this one you can see it it's, uh, it is, I think it is the pretty peacock on this one. Hold on. I think it is. Pretty peacock. What is this color? Yeah, pretty peacock. I'm like, what is the color there? And it has also the Lost Lagoon, which is the lighter, so it goes really well. Then you have this one with the um, fresh freesia. And then you have this one. This is a more colorful, which I also like a lot. Although I like better the one with the pinks and the purples. And while it's not the same, they look kind of the same. This one um, was not my favorite, to be honest. But you can see they're tearing the paper. And it's the paper from this. You can see the same patterns as you can see here. Um, but this side was not my favorite. But look into that one. Again, you can just cut it out and make your background. And this one, I think, will look really, really nice. And then I will already show this one. Yes. I did like this one as well. Look at that. It's just, again, little pieces of paper. But this part, I definitely love it. I was like, oh my goodness. Because again, it's like you have all the dimension, but it's just a piece of paper. And you just need to add like a flower, some leaves, a sentiment, and you're done. I, I thought this paper was just amazing because it gives the texture, the look of the texture, without having to do all of this ripping of the paper. <laughs> And then finally, this one, again, the flowers, I did like how they look. Um, now is the whole thing. And then you have it again here in the one color with the lemon lime twist. So like I said, I did I did like the paper a lot, to be honest. Um, so that's the paper. And then the stamp set, I don't have it. However, I was looking. Um, you have, again, the folios that you can cut out. And there are two borders that you can use. So I might be getting this one because of that. There is like um like the little like the ones for like notebooks, like this thing, right? Um, and then you have this like a rip edge. So I thought, oh, this looks really cool. So I might be getting this one after all. And then you have the dice, of course. You can see them here. They look really, really nice. And see how they look, right? Um, like they're samples. It's like rip paper, but they're not doing anything. They're just using the paper. So it looks like it has lots of layers, but there's not. <laughs> so I love that. And these, uh, you can see it here. The, the, uh, there's like a rectangle, but it's also like a re rectangle for the sentiments. 
Um, so I think it was really good. So like I said, overall, I did like it a lot. And I think that's the last one for me. So over to you. Awesome. I'm really glad you showed that paper because I just couldn't tell from looking at this. And I don't think they should have put the mountain in the front. Yes. <laughs> that the, any way. of the other ones would have been better. Exactly. Right? Yes. Um, so, yeah. So I'm excited now. And what you pointed out about the dyes, like that torn edge, like now I just want the whole suite. So it looks really yeah. good. Yes, definitely. Okay, so I'm going to move on. I'm on page 104. We have a new set called Vertical Blooms, and Stampin' Up! did tell us demonstrators specifically that they had been got, getting a lot of requests for literally vertical greetings, so that's why this set is in here. Um, so there's two greetings that are vertical, thanks to you and Bloom with Courage, and then... Let me see the samples here. Yeah, so there's just like this really thick, solid uh, foliage image. And then you can stamp these flowers on top to, I'm pointing at the sample here on the right, um, that will nest in right exactly where they're supposed to be. So two different colors. Um, there's like a corner border image, almost like a tag topper. They've used it here on the, these samples to surround some rectangles rectangles, rectangle die cuts, which are not on this page. Um, missing you these days. I guess that one's vertical as well. It's just shorter and fatter, but it is vertical. And then just some other little, again, buildable floral images on that in this set. These two and these two. And then one more border. Okay, so that's a pretty good one. And then Coffee with Friends on page 105. This is a million dollar set, Sandy Rule. Um, but it's in the style of all the ladies and men that are hand drawn, like sketched, basically. And so we've got a lady sitting on a on some stairs, looking away so you can't see her face, with a ponytail and uh, holding a cup of coffee and flip flops. By the way, <laughs> <It's kind laughs> <of not weird. laughs> um, there's a two coffee cups side by side with two croissants and. A little spoon they're on saucers and they each have a heart in the top like how they put the hearts in the coffee um so that's cute to me that makes me think of paris but you know whatever it's just coffee mm -hmm. and croissants but it could be paris and then the other image is a the back the back view of a like wooden bench like park bench with two women sitting on it holding their to-go coffee like in the paper cup like starbucks um, one with a ponytail, one with more curly hair. They look like they've just been taking their walk, you know, basically. And then the greetings are pretty small on this one. Like physically they're small, but anyway, there's, you've got this thinking of you. Let's get together soon. Dot, dot, dot. And coffee to, what is that? I guess thinking of you and coffee too. but dot, dot, dot. And coffee too. coffee mm -hmm. with a friend is like happiness in a cup. And then sometimes you just have to reheat your coffee one more time and try again. <laughs> That's funny. I had not read that. Yep. Okay. Page 106. Um, this is a, a set called Marvelous Nature. It's really pretty. Uh, it's one of those where you it stamps a solid rectangle or circle. And then etched out of that is the image. So it would be like whatever color your paper is will show through. So one has two birds on it. I like the sample up here. Make sure y'all check that out where they've stamped it in blues. Um, they did an ombre effect. So probably with sponging on that to apply the ink. But anyway, um, and then the birds are white. And then the other one is a circle with, that's a rectangle, birds. Circle with a fern, a big fern image in it. So again, you can see how that looks here on this sample. Uh, and then three greetings. You're marvelous. Lots of love. Thanks for everything. Um, so it's really nice. I mean, it's not crazy. Uh, what's more versatile as far as us using it in classes? You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense yeah. to, you, to Alejandra? But it's going to make true. beautiful cards. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so gorgeous. Okay. What, page 107. I think this set is really cool. At first, I thought it was dumb, to be honest. <laughs> 
But then I looked really closely at the sample on the previous page 106. And I was oh, like, wow. Oh. Right. I'm like, oh, so these are like windows. This is like a wall. These are windows oh. and entryways. Then you had the trees. This is the water for the fountain. Mm -hmm. and like you can see exactly what it's supposed to do in this one sample. But mm -hmm. then I could see how you could use the pieces separately as well. So it's pretty cool. I It's actually on my list. It's called Your Path Awaits on page 107. Um, and it's a distinctive set. So it stamps like this, a whole scene, oh, wow, but yeah. separately. Yeah. So you can get all the different colors. And the sentiments and then, are really nice. That's what I was going to say. I love the sentiments. Um, <laughs> there's only three of them. Take time for yourself. Follow your own path and for you. But they're pretty large. They're mixed fonts. So you have cursive and, you know, serif or whatever it's called. And I just like how the cursive is. They're kind of like spread out and big. And I don't know. It's just really pretty. <laughs> so mm -hmm. your path awaits. Y'all should think about that one. It's pretty cool. If anyone has it, I would like to hear about that. Yes. I'd like to hear about it. Okay. Um, page 109, Enchanted Butterfly. This is... I think, yes, a reversible, um, just like the sea turtle, which is not new, but if you anyone has the sea turtle from the mini catalog. So basically what that means is every decorative image you see here, you can literally put it on your clear block upside down and stamp the back. And it was designed that way. Um, they don't always align exactly when you do that with distinctive stamps, but they align the way Stampin' Up! intends them to and it gives you that filler you know that shadow image or whatever um like kind of see how this butterfly in the sample is the shadow is not a perfect match that's how it does um anyway and also just a note here this one is shown at 100 the these are shown at 50 percent. so the flower is basically going to be as big as the butterfly it's just shrunk down for some reason on this section so there's butterflies, flowers, little medallion type images, a border image, a leaf, this little circle of dots, another sort of floral leafy type image, little bitty medallion. So that is Enchanted Butterfly, Enchanted Butterfly on page 109. It's reversible. Oh, here's Fresh as a Daisy. So... Mm. Uh, page 110, 111. I think this is probably Stampin' Up's most popular. Oh, yes. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Based on how many samples I have here. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the suite comes with the bundle, Cheerful Daisies bundle, the Fresh as a Daisy designer paper, and the adhesive backed solid gems. Um, so I have, I think Allie's going to show you the stamp set and bundle. I mean, dies. Because oh. mine are. Oh, no, I can't. Sorry. I just oh. gave them to the, my helper. Oh, we mine, can, sorry. Basically, <laughs> mine basically is same deal. So we'll just describe what's in the book. But here's the gems. They're really pretty, shiny. They're faceted. So you get sparkle when you turn them. The designer paper is gorgeous. It is uh, called Fresh as a Daisy. There's this one sheet that has these different squares and rectangles you can cut out individually. That's the only sheet like that in the pack. And then the back of that is a nice moody mauve. This has a ton of the new in colors, by the way, this paper. Um, so moody mauve on the back, like a watercolor wash sort of, or dry brush almost. Maybe dry brush is a better description of that. Okay, then we have the super bright green um, with the white and yellow daisies all over and then pebbled path dry brush love it that's the color i said was my favorite new in color hmm. and then we have this one with a sort of distressed copper clay background with big giant white daisies and pretty peacock leaves and yellow centers um none of the flowers in this designer paper get cut out by the dyes none of them and they're not really, in my opinion, you can tell me if you agree, I mean, disagree, Ellie, but none of them are really made to be hand, they're not easy to hand cut out because they yeah, no. overlap with other images. Yeah, so 
it's yeah. different in that way. Usually they give us a couple that we can hand cut out or die cut out, but yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, um, okay, here's, <laughs> yes, exactly. So um, pretty peacock and I think whatever green this is, bright green dry brush. I love this sheet. It's so pretty. It's got a blue background with the dry brush effect and then white uh, some flat daisies growing up from the bottom with copper clay centers. Just super pretty. And then the back is the copper clay dry brush. So I do love all these back. I love the fronts as well, but I love all these back sides that are just a new in color dry brush image. Here's another super green heavy uh, but with small daisies all over it and leaves and everything and then the back is the boho blue dry brush and that's it and then um the bundle you get the stamp set and the dies uh two-step stamping so you can stamp the outline image first and then add the, a lighter color on top to fill in the color so you don't have to color it a larger daisy, a smaller daisy, and then uh, a, I don't know what you call that, but a side view daisy where it's just the like four or five petals hmm. seeing it from the side, right? Yeah. Um, a stem, a leaf. The leaf is not two-step stamping. All the flowers are. And then two different centers, a larger one and a smaller one. Again, not two-step. This other smaller floor, uh, I guess daisies, but it's three of them in one image. There is a die that cuts that out. Um, okay, and then greetings. You made my day. Oops, a daisy. So sorry. <laughs> that one cracks me <laughs> up. Wishing you the brightest birthday and your friendship means everything. And uh, I'm going to pull one of the samples I have right now to show this die that comes in the set. It's a, a label die so that's of course awesome and then it comes with the dies to cut out all the stamped images plus dies to make these standalone daisies so very versatile there plus the one label so cut out all the stamped images standalone daisies and the label okay so i have some samples and after i show these i'm going to go through them pretty quick just because it's already 9 15 y'all it's almost been three hours so we probably oh gosh, should start talking faster, Allie. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show these quickly. And I can't remember if you said you had daisy samples to show as well. No, I actually gave okay. them. Sorry. <laughs> no, I just couldn't remember. Like, we discuss all this and then we're like, what did we say? Um, this one I love. <laughs> we both do that. Uh, super shiny. She has Wink of Stella all over it. Ooh. I don't know if you see it on the video. It looks really nice. Yeah. Really pretty. And then I love this one. The sponging is like top notch. Oh, yeah. This is a die cut only, like the standalone, not the stamp image. Mm. Yeah, it's one die that cuts out all of this at one time. Well, you probably know that, but others may not. One die. And then there's detail dies you can glue on top of it, which are these. She cut them apart. I just realized that. This one, they are connected, but she cut them apart. Okay. Who made that one? Betsy made that one. Marilyn made this one. Pretty, okay. pretty. Yeah. And then you can just stamp them, of course. Or you can get super fancy here like this. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I know. Most of these are from our team meeting. We have, like, really awesome team members. Yes. So you guys Ooh, can that one looks good. I know. Mix and it it's a different country. suite. Yeah. That's yes. really great. Country floral. Mm. And then this is, like, a super fancy fold. Yes. I just remembered I forgot to see who won our team meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot something today. That was good. Okay, so that's uh fresh as a daisy, sweet, cheerful daisies bundle. Super awesome. Uh we have a new ocean, you know, nautical or whatever the word is. We have a new one. <laughs> um, it has corals, underwater plants, um these guys that live under the ocean on in the like coral reefs, a couple of fish, a splatter stamp, a really nice um, anchor. That's what that, that's called, right? An anchor stamp. 
and then dies to coordinate but also it looks like you cut out all the stamped images and then there's just about three standalone but one of them is a really large coral looking die so that's going to be cool that is called beauty of the deep on page 112 beauty mm. of the deep yeah it's really beautiful it is. i don't have it yet but i'll probably end up getting it <laughs> um i didn't even realize it was a new one <laughs> i know i have to really i mean i knew but i'm really having to focus on these red things here right now um, page 114, prized plant is new. Um, I think this is going to be really beautiful when we see someone that owns it stamping it because you take these three really large images, probably almost four inches tall, and mm. do three different colors, yeah, and create this large stem with four leaves on it image. There is a sample here, but I think we can make something. I mean, it's fine. I'm not saying it's yeah. ugly. I think we can make something better with different color combos but that shows you what it does um and then it has a little three hearts three solid hearts image a little tiny hash mark background image and then two greetings hey friend in cursive and you're fantastic in a bold straight font this is one i didn't realize was new on page 115 softly sketched oh my gosh it looks yeah. like doesn't it look like something from <laughs> recent? Something we already have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember what. I think I don't own it. It's beautiful. Um, so anyway, okay, softly sketched on page 115. It is, uh, what I do love about it is you don't have to color it in. It's distinctive. You can just stamp it and, and it'll fill in all the detail. But there's, a, and these are large as well, three or three and a half to four inches tall, I would guess. Um, a bunch of grapes with the leaf, with the grapes, all one image. A stem with three, it breaks off into three, whatever those Flower. are called. Yeah, and three, you know, flowers. And then a butterfly is landing on the middle flower. They're almost like tulip shape, but I don't think that's how tulips grow. So yeah, I don't the shape so. wise, it's like a tulip. And then this is cotton, right? That's a cotton plant? Yes. yes. Yeah, so it's a really tall thing of cotton with like five but i don't know what they're called but five things of cotton growing off of it um and then the greetings are really t small they're very small and they're a, a sort of would you call it a fancy cursive yeah yeah, 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 yeah. not a fancy but handwriting um anyway hello i love you just hope you know dot 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 how much you'll be missed how amazing you really are you're not alone mm. yeah so it's really nice the sentiments are really really nice yeah exactly. no, no. um page 117 stamped with love this is the option this year if you need a copyright stampin up to put on the back of anything you want to sell maybe with stampin up merchandise um there is a hand stamped especially for colon and then a square to put their I mean a rectangle to put their name in there is an image of a couple of envelopes the front one has a stamp on it and like a calligraphy pen that's all one image um there's like a really fancy mailbox we don't have this kind here <laughs> <laughs> it says post on it and it's all ornate and there's a slot and there's an envelope going into the slot and then uh so what is this so we have two cursive greetings i like you and love you always and then like a typewriter one that says so you get a card <laughs> <laughs> i like it so you get a card Very I'm good. That's what, okay so that was page 117. uh last but not least the new background stamps on pages 118 and 19. we have this is last but not least on stamps um, I have that plan. one. If you don't okay, have that, yeah, yeah, I don't have any of these. There it you looks go. Really nice, though. It looks really nice. Yes. Yes. I that one. I thought this one was going to be great. Yes. <laughs> and for holy days, right? You can be coloring. Mm. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or oh, even just, even if you That's don't color, great. it's just going to be a great holiday image. Yes. Awesome. Yes. And uh, all of our backgrounds are red. I mean, yeah, red rubber. Red rubber. Oh. 
it'll all be red rubber. So berry harvest is another one. It's literally like, to me, they look like blackberries, but um, it's, it's vines and berries all covering. And then it's in the st stars. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, <clears throat> um, oh, I don't know what that's called, but it's like, the pattern the constellations yeah constellations yes like that although i don't know that they i think that one will be great with the little dreamers yeah. you know that will be exactly for that yeah and the stargazing one both oh that's true yes both so it's gonna be great and it is constellations now that i pulled it up to my face like the little lines are there outlining them mm -hmm. i think those are the only three that are new the rest of these have been here yes Yes, yes. So yes. now you get to move on. Oh, let me change the camera. The Sorry. specialty paper. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be opening this one. <laughs> this is all right. This is from the paper oh. share. So how about that? I'm sorry. To do that, right? Yes. Sorry. I got myself distracted because I got confused. You're going to open up your share. And yes. Show them? Okay, cool. Yes. So these are the uh, acetate, which you already showed those, so I'm not going to linger on those. This is the luster, luster paper, oh. luster, what is it? Yeah, luster yeah. paper. Yep. And this is featuring the ink colors, but look at it. The, these have some pearlized, shimmery, oh. it looks really nice. Yeah, and that's both sides, right? Because most of them are yes. white on that. Yep. No, no, it's double both sides. sides. Double sided, yes, yeah, good. And this one, I don't know if you said that, but one side looks like silver mm -hmm. and the other one is gold. I did not say that. And then we have this one, which is the one that has the center, uh, the white center. So you can rip your paper and have the same effect as the suite that I show, like this one, right? Mm. So this is that one and it coordinates with that suite as well, as you can see. Is that... Oh, those is are that, just random colors, right? Not like the yep. end colors. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, these are just random colors that coordinate with that suite. Mm, gotcha. Oh, so you so have, it's... yeah. So you have Night of Navy, Lemon Lime Twist, Bubble Bath, um, Berry Burst, and the Sir Afternoon. So is that paper shown on the same page as Master Flea Made? No, I didn't. I don't think so. Oh, nice. But it goes together. So, but it yeah. goes really, yeah, it goes really well, well with that one. Good to know. And then we have this one. This is the new, um, what is the color? What is the name? Hold on. I gotta think. It mm. is this one, the seven, um, the Dove Shimmer paper. Now, mm -hmm. all of these are 12 by 12. We cut them for the paper share on six by six. Mm. So you have, all see, these ones like are white one. on one side. And you have the shimmer, but they look really nice. And again, we have the berry burst bubble bath, which could go also wet with the what is the color? Flitty. No, it's not flitty. Fresh, oh, fresh. Yeah. I'm like, what? Then Lost oh. Lagoon, Night of Navy, and Pretty Peacock. And this is just one sided. The other side is white. Then we have the texture. Is that right? The texture, which is this one, eight. Yeah, the in color, a special texture, a specialty paper. It does have some shimmery on that. Mm -hmm. And this one features the in color, the last year's in colors. So and that's double sided. Tie, double sided, yes. Nice. Sweet survey. Um, what is this one? Starry Sorry. Sky, mm -hmm. Orchid Oasis, and the Parakeet party which could go really well with the lemon light i think those two colors mm -hmm. really together. like they're about the same you show this one but this is the holographic uh, there you have it see this you can see it <laughs> i oh, like boy. that one the best <laughs> yes when samunda was cutting all the paper and he was like oh my gosh <laughs> he looks really good i was like oh, yes. <laughs> And he was oh. like, is this, is this the paper? Like, yeah, this is the paper. So anyway, he was, <laughs> and then of course we have the favorite, um, yes. what, is the, mm, what is the name? More Saints. Dazzle. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. The More Dazzle. And now we have it in gold and this one that looks more like champagne, silvery, you know? And that one does come in six by six. The red is come in 12 by 12. 
Yes, this one is six by six, and it comes in a pack that has eight. So you have four of each of the colors. And this is the same that we had during celebration two years ago. So yep. very popular. So my favorite. I know. I know. <laughs> you were wanting to do a dress out of that. <laughs> um, now y'all can make me one. Somebody yes. else has to make it, though. <laughs> <laughs> now we have plenty, right? All right, and then on the designer series paper, are you going to show this one, the delightful eclectic? Yeah. I don't have it with me. Yes, it's so good. So we showed uh, most of the designer paper already throughout the catalog. So there's just one or two back here that if we have them, we'll show. But this pack is 48 sheets. It's called Delightfully Eclectic on page 129. 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. It is $30, which actually, when I was pricing stuff for BOGO, I was like, that's cheaper per sheet than our other designer paper. So that's a good hmm. deal, everybody. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to show these pretty quick again because it's 930. But um, look at this sheet. It's just like black with little white swans all over it with a little orange beak. And then the back is... These are like totally, a lot of these patterns are unrelated to each other. Um, white with little black block X's. This is like misty moonlight with little bubble bath and curry and white uh, tulips on it. And then just a white with a, I'm guessing the colors here, curry polka dots. So cute. Then I've used this one. This is a bubble bath and white stripes of course it's amazing <laughs> and then the back is just this beautiful small tiny little bubble bath flowers with Ooh. garden green and old olive if you look close it's literally both colors like a two-step stamp on the leaves garden green and old olive yeah because i looked close and i was like oh it's definitely both but i used garden to match my sample i made um, and then the center is, I'm not sure which color that is, just to save time, but it's like dark reddish, but it might be, I don't know which one it is. Okay, here's a sheet with a bunch of pretzels. Remember, we had a pretzel stamp image earlier, so you can coordinate that sort of calypso coral, um, light coral. I'm going to see if coral's in here. Yeah, and th then the pretzels are dark coral. And in the back, ooh, just a bunch of stripes in probably all the colors in this paper. Bubble bath, Cajun, Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Fresh mm. Freesia, Garden Green, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock. So whichever ones of those you see there, it's white with those stripes on it. Um, this sheet is kind of interesting. I mean, it's cute, but I don't know if it's a word find or not, but it is... <laughs> Like Scrabble. <laughs> right. I don't know. But it's pretty peacock. But yeah, like Scrabble pieces all over it in oh, it does go in alphabetical order. So I guess not. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q X Y Z A and it starts over. So it's just the alphabet. Although we don't have a punch that matches this. Yes. So I'm sure know. we have like little circles that might do that order. You know. Maybe. <laughs> Um, but it's cut them. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, but they're curved, you know, they're rounded squares, so mm -hmm. it would be challenging to cut, at least for me. Um, the background is pretty peacock, and then white squares and the letters are pretty peacock, all caps, but it's really cute. And then the back, oh, it's so cute because it's pretty peacock with little mm -hmm. bitty white hearts all over, but then every once in a while, it's a pink heart. It's almost mm -hmm. like you decided to do that with a blend, which you totally could do. But they did it for you. So it's so cute. Uh -huh. Bubble bath, of course. Just, um, yes. This one kind of matches that punch you were talking about earlier. Yes, but I don't I know if it. it fits it. But um, oh, I don't remember the name of the bundle Allie showed us. But it comes with two punches. They're kind, yeah. One's kind of like an X shape. So this would coordinate with that. Uh, bubble bath X's and little flower floral images in between. Yeah, this might fit the other punch too. I just don't have it so i don't know yeah um and then i like the back it's almost it's not like notebook it is similar to notebook paper but i'm not sure what pattern this is called but it's like white with red and blue lines on it but um 
this will be cool to cut up for your scrapbooking for journaling or, or use it for whatever. Okay, we have a petal pink with white daisies all over it. Individually, you definitely could hand cut these out. They're large, probably two, two and a half inches and with a yellow center. Nope, one and three fourths, still very large. Yeah. And the yellow center has little orange dots on it. Oh, see, lemons on the back. So mm -hmm. petal pink, uh, horizontal, not horizontal, what's the word? Diagonal. Diagonal. stripes petal pink and white and then little pink and yellow i don't know if they're really lemons but i think they are they're kind of a funny shaped little bitty lemon with leaves yes yeah and then check out this pattern again it's just like totally different than all the others misty moonlight with just this pattern drawn in rows all the way across so you can go that way with it mm -hmm. and then another sort of notebook style paper but different pattern on the back. This is really pretty, just a bunch of uh, like tiny floral images, kind of like what Allie was showing us on Masterfully Made, except in an exact pattern. You can see the little patterns here, and then a pattern. Freesia, you definitely have some purple flowers on here, petal pink, mm -hmm. coral. The background is blue and the leaves are green, of course. And then the back is just a nice blue check but really detailed check, similar to the stamp that she showed us um, pattern. So, so light blue, dark blue. And then this cheek cracks me up. It's Calypso coral with little pink strawberries all over it. Little bitty pink <laughs> strawberries, right? It just cracks me up. And yeah. they have the little green on top, like, okay. And then the back is Ooh. a geometric pattern. Yeah, with pet bubble bath and basic white. It's like little triangles all connect um, in a pattern all over it. Almost like bow ties too. And then this is um, crushed curry with white dots painted all over it. So they're kind of messy dots or almost like scribbled, but solid white. And then basic white or white. With, yeah, little bitty flowers all over it. And the bubble bath, blue and yellow. And then I really like this pattern. This is the last one here. Um, fresh freesia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> white polka dots and then these really large white flowers painted my phone may have paused yeah my phone paused no. um white flowers painted real thick with black centers i love that and then this black and white little half circles designs on the back so i said i was gonna go quick and then i didn't but it's a lot of paper like 48 sheets but it's uh 12 designs oh that was really good Okay, you go. I go. All right, so the next one that I'm going to show is this one, which is the Glory of Gingham. Oh. And so this one comes in five colors. It's the same pattern, so I'm not going to take one by one. But you can see the uh, bushel, blueberry bushel, lemon lime twist, pretty peacock, berry burst, and then the pecan pie. And so you have the larger gingham on one side and then the smaller gingham. So it's kind of like the one that we had in the January through April, but it's just one design rather than two different designs on the gingham. So, or I four different this one. Six yes. by six. And um, yeah, it's, I think that's going to be real versatile this year for us to work with. Yes, yes, I think so too. So anyway, go inside. And I think that's it on the paper. I believe every other one, the other one is this, which, I mean, we have the one, um, like it comes, I'm just going to show the pattern. I'm not going to go with all the colors, but it's the color families, of course. And let me just show you one so that you and can these, see. These are the ones you'll get with our color refresh. Colors. You get like, a, what, a half a pack of yeah, each? Yeah, half a pack, but yes. Not the end colors, but a half a pack of the other four families. Exactly. So you will get it in the bright, the wriggles, the subtles, and the neutrals. Um, but you can see you have one side that had the little lines and then hearts on the other side, pocket dot on one side, and then the lines or the stripes on the other side. And you have it for all of the colors of each of the different families. Um, so these are the ones that will be included, like all these colors or all these packs in the color refresh party okay mm -hmm. 
And I believe that's it. You go next. Okay, so I'm ready. Um, I don't have this yet, but it's definitely on my list because I just feel like you can tell by looking how cute it is. I'm on page 135, and again, it's blurry if I bring it up to my camera for some reason. But it's called Bright and Beautiful Memories and More. Did y'all even realize there's a Memories and More that coordinates with the um, Bright and Beautiful Suite, the first one Allie showed? Yeah. Did anyone? Yeah, I didn't realize it until I was later, 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 you know, really looking at every page. So there's the memories and more. This is what it coordinates with on page 14 and 15, which is going to be four by six and three by four printed cards and a sh some sheets of stickers. And then right here, bright and beautiful memories and more cards and envelopes, $11, 20 card bases, 20 envelopes, and check out the patterns. It's Anyway, wow. I just think it's going to be amazing. And then mix it with this stuff and you got like your set. But they always can stand alone as well. Um, here's some samples. You can use them for sure in card making, anything else you want, and scrapbooking. So, so I think that's awesome. And then I think uh, I'm going to the accessories next, which I'm really excited about. So these... I really want to see what Allie thinks about these. They're called iridescent shaker circles. And this Ooh, is what I was going to put. Huh? I don't have those. Yeah. Well, look at them. <laughs> look at it. Okay. It gets oh blurry. Oh, my gosh. What? I'm telling you. So these are the ones that y'all were telling me in the meeting. You didn't like it because there was a hole in the middle of yes, them. Yes. You can But they're tell. so tiny. Yeah. They're so tiny. You can mm -hmm. see the hole, like I can see it here. I know this is blurry on my screen, but look at that sparkle, y'all. Wow, yeah. Definitely want these. Yes, I want them, them now. <laughs> oh, look, the hole come out of the middle, I guess. <laughs> Stuck to the We're lid. Go to the wish list. <laughs> right. It's only seven dollars. You get all this. So wow. that's um, on page one thirty nine. Iridescent shaker. And then I showed you guys already the loose silver sequins, which look white and silver. They're beautiful as well. Same size container. They're only six. They're 50 cents cheaper for some reason than these. But um, but yeah, they show the iridescent shakers up here. And that's why everybody, I think, thought these holes would be gigantic. But they're tiny, tiny. They mm -hmm. even here, it looks huge. But that's not actual size. Like, these are blown up samples. <laughs> Okay. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go to page 140. I think I have most. I do not have them all. I don't have the adhesive back sparkle gems number two. Number if you two? have those. Hold on. Let me see. I I've think seen I... them in person though, and they're gorgeous. I just don't. Oh, you know what? Do I have them? I thought I. Oh, no, they didn't make it. What? Nope. I don't have them. Okay. Well, just trust us. Um, they're basically like the ones that are like oh plastic. i do have them no okay, i good. do have them it's like, like they're this? filled with glitter right look yes yeah. look at this i can take them off the pack so you can see it without the um look at this wow oh my goodness. goodness i know <laughs> and their they colors are um, champagne black and white yeah, girl, I got to get them for me. I just, I don't know why I didn't get them, honestly. I was trying oh, to these budget. were on my list. That's what I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure I did because those were on my list. <laughs> they were on my list, but like at first I just ordered at first, first, what we were going to use in classes next. Oh. Then I yeah. went back, but I, for some reason, still haven't gotten those. I'll get them on my next one. Okay, so that's that one. They're amazing, y'all. Right. They're called again. Number two. Number two. Adhesive. adhesive. Back yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then number three and four are very similar. Oh, wait. Here they are. This is number three, Tinsel Gems three pack. And number four is Tinsel Gems four pack. So basically three colors or four colors. I'll take this one out because they look the same. They don't have the sparkle inside them the way the other ones she just showed does. Like It's like they have glitter inside, but they are very mm -hmm. shiny. Yes. Um, so you get... The three pack is Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia, and Lost Lagoon. And the four pack is Pretty Peacock. What am I doing? Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel, Berry Burst, and Lemon Lime Twist. So those are awesome. 
And then adhesive back solid gems. Oh, we showed those already. Uh, mm -hmm. In color pearls. So these, if you have not seen them in person, mm -hmm. you want them. I don't even, you can't see it there. They're so shiny. Like, can you tell? I don't think you can tell from the video. Wow. They're so shiny in person. They are, they look like they have, they're just called in color pearls, but they look like they have an iridescent paint painted on top of them. I, they're way shinier than this video is showing. And it's only uh, one size, right? It's only one all, size. All the same size, which I love. And it's the um, older in colors. Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis. They're gorgeous, y'all. You just have to see them in person, though. Okay, next up, Ombre Matte Decorative Dots right here. Just as they sound, they're not shiny. They're matte. And they go from dark to light this direction. They are Calypso Coral, Old Olive, Coastal Cabana, and Night of Navy. And I don't really need to take them out because they're not shiny. They're cute, though. Like, I'm using them already. Um, <laughs> in color, <laughs> the new in color dots. So these have all five of the new in colors. And these are they're like those glossy dots we used to sell. So they're shiny. A little flatter than everything else we've been showing already today. And it's the five new in colors. So, and you get three sizes, one row of each size in each color. Really nice. Uh, in color dots. Oh, sorry. That's the one I just read. Opaque ovals, number seven. Um, they are really shiny they're not matte but they're not sparkly but they are very shiny you get four colors and they are ovals i'm thinking they look like easter eggs to me <laughs> but like what um, easter eggs <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> but um they're shiny like just shiny and i believe it's two sizes large and small large small uh these are pecan pie lemon lolly bubble bath and azure or azure afternoon and then number nine adhesive back sequence trio this is the ones we used in the paper share paper share make and takes you'll get a pack of them with your fee and um they're gold copper silver right mm. Wait, where are they oh neutrals sorry neutrals. i said the i think i said the name wrong neutrals adhesive back sequence copper silver brown and gold they're the really silver nice. though looks more like white <laughs> it definitely does and i thought this was bronze like they're calling it brown but that could be bronze like totally yeah. and yeah. i did color one black i colored this color the darkest one black and it looked good huh. so okay oh my goodness my cat so i we already looked at the adhesive back sequence trio earlier so that was my last thing there i'm gonna get her off of her so you can oh i need to change the camera to you so you can talk about ribbon yes and we show already a couple of them so i'll just go through mm -hmm. some of the new ones so we have this one which this is the one we're going to be using on the color refresh and it is the hairy bone uh, ribbon this is a thicker one but it's really thin, it's really nice. I did like doing uh, like knots instead of uh, bows just because it's too thick. But it was really, really nice to play with, to be honest. So I like that one. Really I soft. did. Yeah, it's really soft too. And it's not thick. Now, I did end up uh, in one of my cards um, for the share, I end up even mis mixing and matching also with this one, mm -hmm. which is the Misty Moonlight bright ribbon and look how beautiful this look like these two together they go really well by the way so, that misty moonlight is like my favorite it looks yeah, really ribbon. really nice yes it's it so is very soft. elegant and yeah. soft and it seems like it'd be thick but it makes a perfect bow like it's nice yes oh. so it was it was really really nice you can see here so Definitely a good one. Um, then we have the um, the in color 
ones, of course. These are the in colors that we have. And of course, it comes in all five colors. So the white weed, boho blue, pebble path, um, moody mauve, and the copra clay. There you go. Oh, I got my finger here. So there you go. So all five. These are a little bit uh, thicker, but they're really good to also, especially if you're uh, doing uh, with, using the ink colors. These are really, really good. So I like them a lot. Um, another one of the new ones is the Pecan Pie Border Ribbon. And it's also really thin on that one. So it's really good mm -hmm. for ribbons, uh, for bows, sorry. Not for ribbons, for bows. That's my other favorite one because of the texture. Yeah, it looked really nice as well. And you can see so here. Soft. So soft, nice. It's not too bulky. So I like this one a lot too. I wish it came in more colors. I know. And I that like one. that it has like the, like you say, the texture, but like the edge is a little bit more like satin, you know? It uh, has like a little uh, more of a. So nice. Humorous. By the way, y'all can sign up for our ribbon share with the paper party and get two and a half yards of all these new ribbons. A bowl. And then by oh. far, these are really nice. Now, I only use the bubble bath, but we got it also in the lom Lemon Lolly as well as the Sure Afternoon. But this one, um, the one side is more like a satin and the other one is not as shimmery. So this was a very nice surprise, to be honest, because I don't think the catalog show that um, that well, you know? And same thing, you can make your bows and they look really nice as well. Flat thing, so really, really nice. I love um, that one too. Yes, I like that one. This is the one that I use. Let me check which other one. I think I'm only missing the jute. Is that right? From yeah, because we showed the other ones already. This one? So, yeah, because we already showed that one. And same thing as, uh, it's just thicker than our linen thread. And exactly. you can see it, we have it on all the different ink colors. So you get the pack with the five. And yeah, it's just thicker than our linen thread. So that's pretty much it on the ribbons. The ones that we didn't show, we have already shown. Awesome. So I'm going to point out punches. Um, I don't have any that we haven't shown yet. Um, but... And I, anyway, I'm just going to say what's new. So the two and three eighths inch circle punch is new. We talked about that already. These are the two punches Allie talked about in, um, on page 95, the inked and it's called the inked and tiled punch pack. Um, oh, yeah. by the way, these three are bundles as well, but here's a bigger picture of these two punches. You have to buy both together $40 or you can get the bundle for 60 25 and get the stamp set over there um and then the little monkey of course that she showed already and then i'm gonna see i miss this elegant tag topper like i literally did miss it when mm -hmm. i was looking through before because i honestly thought these were the only three new i just missed the one little pink in but ellie showed us this one and it's on my list now elegant tag topper <laughs> page 148 Okay, and then, oh yeah, so you're next. I forgot with what, though. That's on oh, the, on this on? one. So, this oh, one on. is the dice. Hold on a sec. Okay. There you are. Okay. All right, oh, so I dice. See. I don't have this one. It's the brilliant backgrounds. So, I can show that real quick. Okay, perfect. Um, I thought that one looked cool. So, it's literally these two dies. And I just um, ran it through very quickly earlier to give a sample. So one puts these stitched wavy mm -hmm. lines. Mm -hmm. You can go any direction you want, obviously. And then one makes this. And again, I did not poke out all the holes, but it does put this little circle. Yeah, it was uh, square shaped, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, you know. But yeah, it is square. And anyway, it's this pattern. So it stitches and embosses and punches that little hole. But it's in the center of every single square you see here. I just didn't punch them out yet. So that's that one. Um, okay. Brilliant backgrounds, page 162. I didn't catch that one until you were asking me 
<laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, yeah, see what happens. This one. Yeah. Um, then we have the Lifeful Doily Hybrid. So I'm still thinking about those. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Because I like the doilies, and this is one of those hybrids that you have the, um, so it does them both on the cutting, or you can actually do the whole doily. So it looks nice. So I'm still debating whether I wanted to get it or not. Because <laughs> I love, I, I think I've gotten every single doily that Sampino have had in the past, and I never use it. So I'm like, mm, do I want another one? <laughs> I want it for the mainly for the embossing folder, but yes, that's which, true. So I'll probably end up getting it too. But yeah, <laughs> then we have this one. This is the gorgeous garden, um, and this one is more like a background type of um, cut. I don't have those either. And same with this ones. The petal patterns have uh, also like backgrounds, and then also this ones the patchwork pieces. So those are more like especially those are like patchwork right like you can do like quilting so i think these are really good um and i'm still debating on those now the ones that i've got were these because you can make so many flowers so these were i was like yes i'm getting that one and i really like that they gave us a we have some folds so for some leaves for fall sorry some folds some leaves and i was thinking <laughs> oh, of fall for nice. those. yeah Look at this, you have three. So you can make just a card with those three by themselves. Um, and then I thought those could be also for when you're doing like the, um, what is this? Like the sunflowers, right? You have kind of like that shapes with those. This one, you can do it for the centers. These three goes with those. So I like that it's all about piecing. So I like this a lot. And you can, you get multiple. So like this one is three petals at once. So you might need to cut several of them, but I'm really excited with this one because you can, um, you know, put them together, right, to make different flowers. So you can mix and match. That's the word. You can mix and match on those. And you have, like, four here, two, and then four here. So, again, you can just mix and match on those. So definitely I thought this one was a really good good one to have. And, like, I, I would be putting this one in the center and then add, like, a jam. So I think that will look really nice. Say that again. Um, it, I was reading in the catalog and it says on page 33 oh, is where see. they show. So yeah. And I turned and it's, yeah, you can really see what they make. Oh, there you go. See, yeah. like how beautiful. And I'm thinking these are the ones that they use for some of mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Cause when I saw the, oh, I'm showing my address. Um, anyway, <laughs> but <laughs> When I when I saw the catalog, I was like, "Where are these all these flowers? Like, what is the deal with those flowers?" And now we yeah. know. Yeah. So anyway, and of course, the other one that I couldn't resist was the new nested essentials, because you know me, I love labels, and of course, we're gonna be using labels for when we're doing cards. So hold on, because I'm getting a sticky thing here. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Here we go. We have oh, this one. They look really nice. And you have like the banner in different um, sizes. Then you have this rectangle with rounded, uh, rounded corners. And then you have this one, like a diamond in different sizes as well. So I thought it was really good. So you can layer them. And of course, who doesn't like layers for their cards? You know what else is cool about that one, which I know you've seen this because you've used it already, is it double stitches. There's yes. two stitch rows side by side when after you die cut it out. Yes. And I have one here. I don't know if you can see it, but yes, it does yep. do like a double stitch. Although line. I'm looking at my rectangle one and it's not. So maybe just the tag. I, I don't know. It now. is on the tag. It is on the tag. Uh, on the other two don't. Okay. The other just two. the tag, but still the tag double stitches. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's so it so looks weird. really, really nice. Yeah. And I think, I think that's it. Oh, no. Let me see. Oh, we have this one. I don't oh, know. Yeah. This one says you are that. too kind. I didn't get this one, but I think I might because it's good. I need because to. Yeah. You're too kind. Happy birthday. Celebrate and feel better soon. So, yeah, it's a great one to have. And it's one of those that you get the line and then the, um, like the bubble to put it, in, you know, like the shadow piece as well. Mm -hmm. And there's also some flowers. 
some hearts, a rectangle, some stars, a thing with some leaves. So I think it's a good one too. And it seems I like, like it. a bow. I don't know if it's a bow or a flower. It looks like a bow. <laughs> and what's that rectangle? What do you think that is? I don't know, like a base. Well, let's see. It's 35, they say. Let's see. I don't See, they need to do better <laughs> instruction now. <laughs> right? Uh, here we go. 35. Where? Oh, no, they only showed the. You see words, yeah. So, hmm. no, this is show, but. Well, we'll have to figure it out when we buy it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. I okay, think those so... were the new ones. Yes. So I'll show some or talk about the embossing folders. Oops. Now I got both of us on here. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Um, and show the ones I have. So on the new ones, 168, page 168, 169, we looked at the countryside blossoms already. We uh, She just told us about the delightful doily hybrid. Next is an amazing one called exposed brick. So here's a piece of paper that I embossed with it. It's amazing. <laughs> and... Oh, maybe this is the correct side. Hmm. I bet this is the right side because see how the bricks are poking out on that side. Um, yeah. Here's the folder. It's one of the six by six ones, which I always like, especially for scrapbooking. I like that. And it's a thick one. And then there's just the picture from the packaging. Um, and then geometric patterns I don't have yet, but you've got triangles and the other, it's like mixed patterns. There's lines and then little not arrows but just like the tip of an arrow and then diagonal lines all in this one image right here <laughs> but those are the kind that are skinny and you get two of them in a pack they fit in the mini machine and then uh i think i'm making sure i'm not missing anything last but not least is twisted rope which i love look at this background it's amazing. I did it. This is on Misty Moonlight cardstock, but uh -huh. that's the back. Um, it's just amazing, but it does go well with the nautical stuff and the fishing um, stuff we talked about before that we're all going to buy now because it's amazing. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, because rope goes with like boats and stuff. But anyway, it's, it's going to be like a go-to background just to fill in backgrounds, I think. Um, as the year goes on, you know, how we just go for what just makes a neutral background. I think that'll be a great one. And then was there something else you... The hose. No, I think it's not you on the hose. Because I did single dice. Yeah. That's the only thing... <laughs> I think the only thing left is the host. I mean, just to make sure everybody knows, there are a couple more stamp sets in the back of the book. Um, that you can get with a $150 or, ugh, $150 or more order. Um, and then you get them with your free stuff. And they're called Calm and Quiet and Night of Flight. I think these are moths. We're not sure if they're moths or butterflies. But either way, Alejandra said, no, not for me. I <laughs> don't do bugs. <laughs> and the bug. and yeah. I said, it's pretty. But I think, I don't even know. But I think they're moths. Somebody else to hear me know. And um, calm and calm and quiet is like one of those. There's a whole scene. You stamp it and color it in and make a beautiful card. So um, anyway, so those are free. They're an option to get free when you have a hundred and fifty dollar or more order, and um, you get at least fifteen dollars in free merchandise. You can select those if you want, or just pick regular merch. But they are. They cost you less money from your host dollars. This one's only 14 and this one's only 14. They're both 14 and so like $24 is what they would charge if they were selling them. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, thanks for sticking in. I think like half, oh, now I'm doing the same thing. I think half the people that were with us at the beginning are still here. <laughs> but thank you. We made it. <laughs> yeah. We did it. It was definitely for me easier with your help. It's just not all on one person to keep talking and talking. So that was cool. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think this is the first one I ever done, so it went well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Um, if you guys have any questions for us, of course, let us know. Lucy says, thank you for your hard work. Thank you, Lucy, for watching. Robin, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Diane, thanks. Lila, Carmen. Oh, remind them about the drawing. Uh, oh, yeah. And, uh, and our share also, we can remind you. But um, yeah, don't forget any, just to, as a little thank you, any orders placed with our host codes this week, Monday through Friday, today's Monday through Friday, <laughs> yeah. um, you'll, we will enter you into a drawing to win the bird's eye view stamp set. And we're giving away two. I have it so, here. Yeah. Oh, let me, let me put both of us up now. Duh. Hold on. Why? Oh, she disappeared, y'all. She'll come back. <laughs> The StreamYard thing is interesting, but um, Allie may have touched a button on her phone. So we'll give her a second to come back, but she was going to show us that stamp set. Um, thank you, Jean. <laughs> Rose bank account has dwindled down after this video. I love it. I mean, mine too, because she was showing things that I was like, what? I didn't see that before. Or I didn't notice that that was worth my time. <laughs> Um, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chris. I'm trying to see who else I didn't say thank you to. Lucy, Betsy. Sarah says they are moths. Good. I thought so. At first, I did say butterflies, and I was like, wait a minute. Those shapes are kind of weird. Um, did UPS buy in your catalog, Allie? I don't know who she got it with, so we'll have to ask her when she comes back. She did get it done on Sunday, though. But she, I don't know if you were here earlier, Sarah, but she wasn't happy with the quality of the binding. Here she is. It kicked me Hello. out. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like talking and talking. I'm like, she'll be back. Yes. But here is here. the stamp set because that's where I used to. <laughs> yes. So you guys have a chance to win that if you would like to order with us. Yes. And um, thank you, Mary Ann. Thanks, Julie. So um, don't forget paper and ribbon share uh, and party. If you would like to do another event with us, it'll be not exactly like this, but we're doing it. Um, here's my sneak peek of my paper share samples. That's only six. You'll also make six that Allie designed if you oh, take yeah. the party. But you can just get the paper from us and or the paper and ribbon. Um, you can totally do that if you don't want to do a party. and have fun and do the making takes. Do you want to show yours again? Yeah, so I'm sure right here. Why do I feel like there's two? Yeah, I think these are the six. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, I think I'm you were missing out. one. Oh, you found it though. I remember. Yeah, I found them. There you go. So and there's her good. six plus my six. six. I guess we can put them on the same time. That's 12. Oh, yeah. Um, do that. And we do. Okay, hold on. We're not, we don't, we are not coordinated. That, <laughs> And then um, these do include video instruction. Not all of yeah. my events do, some of hers do, but these include video and PDF. And then we have our color refresh. Yes. yes. So yeah. cute. You're going to make really nice. 10 samples, one, each one. Oh, I want to put my face Focusing on one color. Focusing on yes. one color. Each one focuses on a single color, although it might have a... Hi, uh, what do you call it? An accent, an additional an accent. Color. Yeah. 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 So, but um, of course I always love alleys, but cards. But um, I was really happy with how mine turned out too. So they did turn out really <laughs> nice. Yes. Um. So yeah. So, so total of twenty two so cards. Right. If you do both events, that's twelve plus ten, twenty two samples. Um. We we cut die cut and emboss except for the included bundle so we won't be cutting the detail whatever they darling um, darling details i think it is yeah. but everything else and then you'll stamp and assemble and um so yeah yes 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 awesome well we i'm sure you really need to go <laughs> i mean i do too but Allie's got the little kids and the husband. Yes. I mean, not that I don't have a husband, but <laughs> <laughs> then the husband. And, um, 
their work, <laughs> their job. Yes. And I'm sure the people watching us need to go too. So um, I know it's been a long one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to it I hate it. when I have the camera here, especially with the dual, I have to look really far to read you guys' comments. But um yeah, I enjoy the paper share. The cards are awesome. I use the PDF to create more. Love it, Betsy. Thanks, Stella. Oh, Thanks, Lori. Awesome. Well, I think we should say goodbye, Allie, don't you? Yes, I think yes. so. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for sticking with Bye. us for three and a half hours. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> All right. Have a great evening. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.